po po poem. Jingle bells chiming while I'm FaceTiming, so I'm not exposed oh, to your love call. with the werewolf. Snow is falling, my friends aren't calling, my family I is surely do miss. I am Cause proud. COVID is <laughs> Thank here, <you. laughs> there is no cheer I'm gonna have now, to wait. I'm screaming Until into the abyss. This Christmas. It's warm in here. Like I'm in love with the cocoa be, and I keep oh, saying oh, it and I can't oh, stop saying it. Holidays, <laughs> I'm low in a werewolf! It's very, you know what, you know when you start annoying yourself? Um, that's where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> you know? British accent, same no, thing, where it's just like, why am I, so, why am I, yes, I, 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 I do it too. I've been watching a lot of The Crown, and then we've been going through all the Harry Potter movies. Oh. So, and, and I can't do it well. With <laughs> I'm done to please you. Yes. The only thing I say is, please you. Yes. Oh, good. $600 checks. That's enough to save everybody's families. <laughs> oh, Sorry, God. I just... Why do I even look at the phone? You know? Why do I look at the phone? No. No. You gotta throw it out the window. Growing oh, up down south, oh, no. I was a good Christian. And <laughs> we are alive! I was just, like, I'm enjoying alive. the music so much, I just let it keep going <laughs> i love it like, oh look <laughs> there it's the it's the next song which is hump a lot bear and uh we love oh, the reformed horse uh... man baby hello silent squee thank you so much hey, for the sub. this is the third gloss in a row do, 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 yeah do, do, you're do, right do, 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 do. i love I it i feel good i love I it feel great um, uh, but also, hot girl immediately says, Jackie, been trying to avoid it all day, girl. I, I, it's like, why do we look at the phone? I'm done. I think that, like, starting tomorrow, I'm just gonna turn it upside down and just be like, you know what? You know what? I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. Oh, yeah. Five days without it. And then I'll be angry on the 26th. I'll be angry then. <laughs> sure. I don't really play video games. Our wonderful mod, thank you so much for putting in uh, the Reform Tours website. And before I forget, I'm going to put a link in oh, chat. Oh, she's a man, baby Lisa Rose. Thank you so much for subbing. We love you. And um, I have this uh, link. Uh, I'm going to put it right here in chat. This is a website website made by. Um, uh, instant three play and so this is awesome it's all about covid vaccine info so it's really 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 helpful i know nothing i'm going to admit ignorance which isn't healthy or no it's healthy because it's honest but it's not a very informed thing to say <laughs> i know nothing but um it is really uh helpful to um educate yeah. yourself with yeah we go. we're gonna cram we're sorry, sorry. I, as we were saying before we were just a little lazy about it but that's only because we know our, our time is gonna come when we're gonna have to do the vaccine by then we're gonna know everything about then it. we will know everything about it. this is we were just saying this where i'm like i am 33 i'm not an essential worker i don't leave my house i will probably get it in may and by then we will hear all about it yeah so yeah is how you know i'm patient you're gonna yeah. wait in line wait uh, oh we'll wait oh the no, oracle wait. line I'm gonna yeah. that. I can i cut you right in line here. Can I, can I skip the line a little you bit? can get in ahead of me you i can, can go totally i can, can go first yeah. cool thanks because it Have almost that. killed me last time so. oh look there's a killer behind you yeah <laughs> god that's terrifying well, i, I mean, love it when there's an intruder there <laughs> uh, I mean, that kind of is my fear like whenever I'm doing like a zoom hang and Holden's not here and I'm like you know just chatting with my girls on the screen and then I'm just so afraid to like look at my little box and there's somebody <laughs> back there I'm just like or like you know somebody over me with a knife that does anybody else have that <laughs> I still won't look in the mirror every time I close the cabinet yes. like I won't look I close it and just go like, like yep. I don't want 
Oh, I do if that you're too. gonna kill me, go ahead and kill me. Like I just don't because how many of the movies where you close it, they're like, ah, like, I just I don't want to know. Yeah, no, I'm the same way. If I go to someone's house, it's been a long time since I've been to someone's house. But if I go to someone's house and I use the bathroom, I have to make sure that they don't have people in their shower. I have to open the I curtain. Do that too. Just because you never know, maybe someone else. I have a clear shower curtain because of it. Yeah, I have to. And I also like, because I can't not see out and we have like this huge, beautiful tub. And I just like, I have to be able to see outside of it when I'm in the tub or else I'm just going to keep it open and I'm going to get water all over the floor. (laughs) Mm. Oh my God. Yeah. I, I went through this phase where I had to check outside of the shower like every five seconds. And it was just getting to the point where I was like, well, we need to up my dose, I think. But um, (laughs) also, I just, I was like flooding the bathroom. Yeah, because, but uh, I I should have gotten a clear shower curtain. Unfortunately, I was probably in high school, so couldn't afford one. I love it too. Coconut Lemongrass said, I can't look outside when it's dark out. I'm traumatized from one of those scary stories books for kids. 100% just again where he's like all of a sudden you're like are those eyes looking in it's the idea of being looked at which not only it's like simultaneously turns me on as well as makes me terrified which that's a whole other thing to unpack but there's something about the idea of being watched when you're alone again turn you on gets me scared Uh, yeah oh black christmas you gotta put on some black christmas dude we watched it i swear we watched it last night and we put it on because i was thinking of more like a silent night deadly night I forget that Black Christmas is genuinely yeah. creepy. As it's not even fuck. campy. It's just scary. What it's is it? Oh, it's a, this scary movie from the 70s. Right, be- It was like a few years before Halloween. So it was the first like, you know, point of view, like POV, like kind of like, you know, where the guy's heavy breathing and he's walking, he's looking through the, the windows of a sorority house. Oh, it is. And creepy. but it's the phone calls because so it's it's like, it's similar to like the calls coming from inside your house, like around that era. It is that, But then yes. the calls are like, I'm going to lick your fucking piggy cunt. I'm going to lick your fucking. Uh, and I'm going to be like, uh, Jackie, like, you accidentally like, called oh. Carolina. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, that just made me nauseous. Dude, <laughs> it's like <laughs> so good. It's on Shutter right now, though. Highly recommend. <laughs> yes, uh, Keishin Greg, I think that's your name. Fuck yeah, seventies Black Christmas is amazing. I I totally agree. And thank you for that's my name. B she started a uh, professional friends. She's loving it. So Yay. thank you so much. Check out professional friends, which is Carolina's one of her many projects that she works on. I that need is to also stop. Amazing that starting i you know it's when you're hanging out with your friends like you know with you guys it's like hey you know what we should do and then that happens so um yeah i just want to say thank you and yes um yes this is uh this is a special one because what it's christmas week right i mean we just finished uh hanukkah week so now we're starting with christmas week yes yes it's it's fun there's good things and there's stressful things i guess but you know the best thing of all is the fact that you have no choice but to stay at home (laughs) That really does. It's kind of, it's nice and it's also sad at the same time. But like, just the, Holden said, oh, wow, after I get off this call, because he did a call with his uh, brother and dad for his dad's birthday earlier. He's like, after I get off this call, I'm on vacation. I don't have to go down to Florida to see Lexi's enormous, crazy family. I don't have to, um, you know, travel anywhere. And it's like, it actually feels like a vacation for once, even though I'm still going to be teaching and doing lessons throughout the week. I'm happy to do that. I enjoy doing that. So I'm just like, yeah, sure. Why not? But it's so weird because we're not going anywhere. It's all of a sudden it feels like Christmas break did when you were in elementary school, you know, or yeah. college or something. Yes. Even. All I do is watch TV now. That's all I do now. It's great. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for all the sweet love in the in the chat too. Thank you. You guys are very nice. Oh, yeah. and thank you. And thank you. I don't really play video games for the link and everything. Thanks everyone. You're the best. And also Linda Zoris is stoked to finally catch a bit of gloss live. You usually have to work on Sunday evenings. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I need to make a tequila drink about <laughs> that. It's about tequila clock here on the West Coast. So I gotta start jumping into bed with my demons what do you mix your tequila with what, like what do you put in with the tequila or is it tequila on top of tequila because that's the way we grew up in mexico i'm, I'm doing i'm doing oh, my tizzies i'm doing water with blueberry man baby um Teresa, also, thank you so much for the I sub just, oh thank you giving you hell um i also <laughs> definitely just finished oh, the chapter she's for, a, i was man trying baby. to get stuff 
uh, done ahead of time. And the chat, my Twilight chapter that's going to be released on Christmas Day that I cried through the end of. Oh, so that's, and I was, then at the end, I was like, Merry Christmas, everybody, because I've got issues. <laughs> I can't believe you're still reading the book. Oh, There's so, so many. Up. I have so much Maybe. left. I'm only halfway through the second book. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. There's like five books, right? There's a lot of books. Jeez. Okay, yeah. And then oh, there's probably fan fiction. Geez. There's a lot to go off on that. It, it's, I don't know what's canon anymore. I don't there's know. There's a lot. All I know, I saw Robert Pattinson the other night in a Harry Potter movie. Oh, and then I was like, Jesus. oh, my God, that's the guy from Twilight. I didn't realize Andrew. that the Harry Potter movie was his first movie. Yeah. I didn't oh, yeah, know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, OK. All right. I, I was down for that. Those. Um, <laughs> also, Quibo, very interested. I have my first ever Zoom first date after this. How many shots of vodka do I need to do before this? I'm going to say two. Just two. Yeah. To loosen it up. Mm -hmm. Did you yeah. It all? Yeah. And then yeah. you'll be able to talk. I love it. I agree. Yeah. And eat something. So that way, like, it's just, it, it doesn't like suck all the life out of you. You're, you just can like, you know, you, you, you cruise, you cruise with that. You know, you just stay on the same kind of cool level. Very important. I don't know. I spent my whole life Which, trying to perfect mm -hmm. it. I never got it to work, but maybe you can. So let us know how that works. Organic Mary Jane, thank you so much for the subs. Thank you. Uh, and thank uh, you. there's so many. Yes, uh, um, you you gave people subs. Thank you. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'm trying to say. Thank you very much. I never want to interrupt you guys, and then I go back, and I'm like, wait, what happened? No, you're oh. all good. <laughs> you're good. We're used to I mean, we're used to, like, talking all over each other here, and this, and this side, and that side, this conversation here. Like, Fantastic. that's what we do. Good. That's what we do. <laughs> we're just always forever talking. Alone Saw is asking where the new good pud is. We're going to have a good pud coming out for the LPN episode, show episode next week. Um, where Henry, I'm just gonna go ahead and say Henry made me a savory pudding, um, which was not pudding at all. What, what was it? it? It's like that episode of Friends when, um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> when Rachel makes the, she tries to make the English uh, dessert, but ends up putting oh, in yes, ground the, beef the, and peas and <laughs> oh yeah, or like the shepherd's pie. Mixed yeah, with the, like, like Joey's yeah. like, oh yeah, jam good, beef good. It's like <laughs> <laughs> so gross. Sorry, everything I can relate back to friends, and that is how vanilla and Starbucks I am. No, no, I get it. I mean, because in, in friends, they really like each other. I mean, they they're so nice to each other, even on the outside and in on the inside. Trifle. Like. I mean, if they were to, if any one of us were to do that, we'd be like, this sucks. You know? <laughs> like, it would be like brutally honest and like, I'm not eating that. I'm sorry, Jackie. I'm just not eating that. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me. But also, I'm oh, sorry. I was going to say, tell me how, tell me about the savory pudding. I'm really interested. I mean, yeah. well, spoiler alert. It was just meat sauce. Meat <laughs> sauce with nothing else. And he said, because if there's spaghetti in it, then it's dinner. But if there's no spaghetti in it, then it's meat sauce. But he lied to me when I said, do you have pudding? And he said, and, I, and he said, yes. And I showed Pundit up to the board and it was cold meat sauce in a bowl. And then I was like, at least warm it up, you <laughs> bastard. It's stew. Now it's stew. It's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Throw it out there, you know what? It was delicious. He did a great job with it, but it was it, we we have a weird LPN episode coming out. <laughs> when you're not, when you're expecting sweet and you get savory, it doesn't matter if it's like from John George. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, huh, why, why? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, um, that is not pudding. pudding. <laughs> it's not pudding. I will say it is more disgusting to listen to us eat while we talk. I will throw <laughs> that out there. <laughs> but that's fine. Awesome. Yeah, talking about okay. friends before just makes me immediately realize of how many years I lied about loving friends. But it was on all the time. I got home from school and I would put it on. I would either I would put it on after I'd watched the baby story and the wedding story on TLC, and then I put on Friends and I'd watch Friends until Everybody Loves Raymond came on. And I I've seen every episode a hundred times. It is in our brains whether you fucking want to or not. Even if you're like I hate Friends, I don't give a fuck about it. But there's still some things. You still in there. we know. Oh, you still saw it. Yeah. yeah. And I grew up in Mexico. 
and I know everything about it. You know about Friends? Well, we called oh, it American Friends. She's but yeah. uh, American <laughs> Friends. Turning yeah. left for this episode. So yes. Everyone, also, Riley. Yes, everybody loves Raymond. Is I would say it's up there as one of my favorite sitcoms. And and that's how you talk about basic. Talk <laughs> about having a problem in your brain. <laughs> Riley, we're there together. I'm I'm lumping you in with me. <laughs> yes, and there's also uh yes, uh, Vargie says Gilmore Girls for Life. I have to admit, it is a fun show to with, to watch where you just. Like uh, there's like I mean there's the big uh, Lorelai Gilmore who I love and then the Rory who I'm just like I'm okay with and just to see like two women who never have a real problem in their never lives never not a real one ever Ugh. except for which ever, ever, ever. boy to kiss yeah getting pregnant at 16 but that's it and then the problems end there and then everything works out great I mean for some reason I've seen every episode about five times I can't help it I don't know what it is something about it. Uh, so oh, if you... filth queen, I'm also a king of queens gal. Oh, you can't keep me away oh, from my yeah. Kevin James. I am a proper <laughs> queens girl. Yes, I yes. have to love these shows or else am I white trash from queens? I don't <laughs> think so. I have to. <laughs> That's I my will name. still watch that. Go ahead. That's my name, B. Thank you so much for the $20 donation. Uh, she thank says, you. happy oh, holidays. What's the worst gift and best gift you've ever received? Thanks for being mm. shiny, happy people for us Island of Misfit Toys. Thank Smooch. you for Yay. saying that. Love. So cute. Island really of cool. Misfit Toys. I like it. I love that. The the best best. and the worst. Worst. I know, right? I I remember the biggest fight I got into because of a present. I remember of the uh, the person that I was dating for a hundred million years, and on and off. And then we'd finally gotten back together for before Christmas, and he gave me a uh, a gift certificate to go like like a visa gift certificate kind of thing to like go spend on whatever and i was like you can't even fucking pick something out and then it's straight up where i was like it was with the kind of thing like you are trying to get me back yeah and no, no. you can't even pick something i was like i wouldn't care give a fuck i wouldn't care if it was something you had in your house wrap yeah. it up choose it for me yeah and there was just something about and i flipped out but it was because we were also in a really bad like i feel like now it's like if it's you know i get it if you're just it's just such a it's so thoughtless Put yeah in, in context unless it. you like shopping maybe but sure i yeah, always na- ask for a gift certificate or a gift card because i don't trust holden <laughs> but that's a very good reason out, I get it. but if you're like, no, I, if, I don't know, it just depends on the partner. It depends on like what they're expecting. And yeah. I understand why that is lazy. Yeah. I, I remember I used to be really bad at giving gifts and I don't have a, like the worst gift I ever gotten. I don't know if I've, um, have I ever gotten anything like terrible or anything, but I know I've given the worst gifts ever because I just didn't know how to do it back then. Like, um, like my, like my first boyfriend, I think when I was like 20, 19, 19, like the, like our adult relationship boyfriend. And, um, I remember he was like, he really liked, uh, trivia games, like trivial pursuit. So I, so I researched online and I looked and I found like the hardest game in history. Like I looked up what's the hardest game in history. Cause I thought I was like, this would be nice and challenging. And so I ordered it and then I gave it to him and he's like, Oh, thanks. And it like went in the closet. It was like a, some sort of trivia game from like, like 1942 that like half of the answers were not even right anymore. And it was like collecting <laughs> dust. It wasn't even like, it's like Pan Am. What the hell is Pan Am? <laughs> but at least you tried, like you searched yeah. for it. You put effort yeah. into it. And even if they didn't appreciate it as much, you tried. Yes, I tried, but I was just so embarrassed. That in the time I, at a like a nine year old's birthday, I was also nine and I got invited to this guy's party. And so I gave him some nice pens. Because <laughs> I didn't know what else to get. I was I'm serious. I, I just went off for years just being terrible at it. Who gives who gets like who gives a nine-year-old from another nine-year-old like nice pen? Yeah, a I nine-year-old say, as an adult, 
give me some nice pants. No. Yeah. Like yeah. I would love yeah. a ni- I'd love some nice pants. I think that's great. Yeah, like a gel kind of pen. Yeah. Yeah. Gel oh. pen. The jelly rolls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I Maybe love one fancy glitter. School supplies. <laughs> I love it. But also, Hawk Girl said earlier that her husband gives the best gifts, and then it always makes her feel bad about what she gives. Now I'm dealing with this with Jeff because I am. I'm. I'm going to throw it out there. I'm going to suck my cock for a moment. I know that y'all know this. I'm fairly good at giving gifts because I make notes all year long. But then he gets yes. scared about giving me gifts because he's like, they're not going to be as good as yours. I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. Like, that is honestly, yeah. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, it's not a competition at all. Yeah. No. <laughs> it is and important to make give notes. So. presents because of it. Yeah. I, I think maybe though, I don't know. I feel weird complaining about a bad gift, but... Because there was still, like, thought put into it. Um, I think, though, <laughs> and I have a tendency to do this. I like, I collect samples, like makeup and skincare samples. And then I give them to my nieces and my sister and my friend. Because I'm just like, here, just take this. But um, sometimes they're slightly used. So I think that's probably a really awful gift that I've given because it's like, here's some germs. No, um, <laughs> no, that's fine. I mean, maybe not this year, but you know, the other years it's totally fine. I had right? really huge containers of philosophy. My mom had gotten me philosophy. Oh my God. Um, like uh, body wash, which is also like shampoo conditioner. It's like, you know, the eight in one um, type of, and they're giant. And I was just like, you know what? I don't have any money this year. So I am going to um, refill travel containers that I have and just like make um body wash and lotions in little containers I like that. for everybody yes. Yes. that's good but I, I like I that a lot that prob- I think probably mm-hmm. my sister got that and was like how old is this <laughs> you know like um maybe there's a lot of bacteria and maybe I shouldn't put it on my body <laughs> you know so it, it's it's the um it's the reusable are trying to be reusable makeup and skincare products that I, I tend to pass down. Um, I still think it's a great idea. Well, thanks. <laughs> yeah. And also people on chat, there's like, there were like a, a dozen people who said, I like pens. So I'm, so I'm glad I'm in good company. <laughs> to each Thank their, you. To each <laughs> Everyone own. just, we should just all write this down. Who wants a pen? Uh, and then we'll all just give it to each other. Pens. That's wonderful. Love pens. Yes, but what was the best gift you guys ever got, though? The best gift. That's a hard one because I never remember when people give me stuff. I'm terrible at it, actually. Uh, Best gift. Oh, my God. I know, right? It's a hard. I mean, it's I I, yeah, because I always get like, you know, a scarf and like those things are nice. But I never think like this scarf, this scarf from H&M, I'm going to pass it down generations or anything. So I just. Yeah. No. How I, about the chat? Do you guys have one? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. My skillet is probably the most used gift that I've ever... Holden got that for me for my birthday um, the first year that we lived together. So it was like 2014. And I was just like... Because I like casually mentioned that I wanted a skillet. And he's just like, great, something that can uh, benefit me too. I'm going to get her a skillet so she can cook. Um, (laughs) And I was just like, he got me a skillet. But I actually, I use it like every day. So I don't know. It's pretty great. I love the skillet. It's It's, it's actually a really, really awesome gift. But, you know, at that point I was just like, what does he expect from me now? He expects meals all the time. (laughs) 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 But... He does, and I. I he do does, it. and he does, and, <laughs> and he yes, does. he does. <laughs> well, I know what I got this year from Marcus. Um, I got a. I, you know what the funny thing? I just like uh, a Zoom. Uh, is it a Zumba? What's the thing that the a Roomba? The little, a Roomba. I got a Roomba. That's what it's called. God damn! Well, I'll I do some know Zumba that. anytime. <laughs> We have a Zumba just instructor so... in chat. We should we should do a Zumba class. <laughs> Anytime. I need a Roomba class. I, I don't know how to make it work, but um it's cool though. It's really cool. And and Georgie, she's just like always like, you know, but I think she thinks that she could be friends with it. So that, that is better. I'll be right back, that is ladies. Good. I'm sorry. Yes. No, you're all good. <laughs> I oh, think that my oh, favorite go ahead. gift. 
was when Henry did Henry got me. It was like like when he got me Elton John tickets for the farewell tour. Oh, and cool. you know, like I've always wanted to see Elton John. This is a lifelong dream. But he bought me the tickets for my birthday, like 10 months in advance. Like the sec, like he was on it, got us like fourth row tickets to see Elton John. And I when I opened it, I just like cried and cried and cried because I'm not that big of a concert goer usually, but that kind of experience was something I'd always wanted. And I know that like in my brain, it's like, oh, oh, so he just spent a bunch of money. It's like, no, the fact that he jumped on it months and which like for a brother to do that, like that's, that's really like that nice. is, yeah, that's pretty great. Like the fact that like the forethought of it was really, really nice. Oh, that's great. Did you, well, did you go? Oh, it was amazing. Okay. I was, oh I was my waiting God. for the second yeah, part we of that Mushrooms. Story. And we both dressed up in like big frilly clothes. Oh, I love. We both had like, like glitter jackets on. And I got these like collared shirts. It was, a, we, it was the same outfits we wore to play um, Siegfried and Roy in a sketch. <laughs> we showed up looking like Siegfried and Roy on mushrooms. And then we got hammered and cool. we had so much fun i don't know how we got home i don't know what he did i don't know how we got home that's amazing home. oh that's awesome and how was elton john that's so you cool know, you know what he put on a great show for yeah a hundred million years <laughs> I know. And we see a lot of dad rock bands. Like Henry and I like to go to specifically bands that like usually only me and Eddie want to go see. So, you know, we will go to all of those. And that one was just, you know. Aw. Oh, that's that's so cute. Oh, actually, yes. I do remember uh, last Christmas, Marcus got me tickets to Phantom of the Opera and we got to go. And that was like the last show before everything shut down, you know, like because we went in January or something. It was like the last show. And um, because my dream was to always I mean, I'm not really much of a musical uh, person except for like, you know, the occasional like Hedwig and the Angry Inch and things like that. Like I like cool stuff. And, and I always thought like, you know, uh, I don't know. Phantom of the Opera just seemed cool. I read the book and it's like, it feels like such a New York thing to do. So like, I'm like, I want to go see it one time because I've been living in New York for 16 years. So Marcus got me tickets. I don't know why I said like the fucking Roomba first. So Marcus got me tickets. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so we went last January and I don't know if I told this story already because I probably did. I, I ate two edibles right before. And so we get there and the chandelier goes crashing down. I'm like, ah! oh yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then the Phantom, he's uh he's he was so good, but he was extra like spit spitty a Ooh. little bit. And we were like on like we were actually pretty f close actually. It was I mean, I know it's been around for 30 years, so it's not hard to get like second row or whatever, but I was still like no, so impressed. It's still and fun. he was like, spitting. Of course, this is like right in the beginning of like coronavirus, but you know, we were fine. <laughs> and uh and the, the like the whole thing was just so awkward, but really, really cool, really, really fun. The great the music's great, the acting's great. But there were times when I just like couldn't stop laughing. So like I'm like shaking really hard <laughs> in the second row and I'm like I'm losing my mind. And then so Marcus would just hand me all these like snacks and I'd just be eating them. And <laughs> it was so much fun. All right, that's That's it. amazing. But <laughs> that sounds absolutely God, I miss live shows so much. I we miss it. had I miss all it. these plans. The last thing that we actually did before everything shut down was hang out with you and Marcus one night to watch the um ninety day finale. And that's true. And we got so drunk I had to watch it again the next yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> well also Holden talked over all of it. So that's I was I just like, that's the norm. McNeely talks <laughs> over things. <laughs> um, yeah no when holden and lexi came over uh which which was like last like i guess maybe february or sometime before we were all like oh we should stay at home and all that stuff that seriously that was like one of the last times we hosted people too so we we bring that up like every other week about like, remember that time? I still have that knife that, that Lexi lent us. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> I talk about it too much. We need to move on with our lives. Well, something else has to happen. And the, um, 
we made all these plans to go because I just discovered today ticks. And I was just like, all right, we're going to go. See, you had just seen Phantom. And we're, I was like, we're the set. That's it. We're going to go see all of these live shows. We're going to go see Martin McDonough, who's like one of my favorite playwrights. So we're going to go see all this crazy stuff. And um, then that stopped. So yeah, we, that's true. And, then, and now we're moving. So yeah. we're just going to have to come back. Yeah. Or when yeah. theater opens again. And That's just the best make part, sure though, I don't eat any animals. There. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, so absolutely. cheap to fly between New York and L.A. It's great because <laughs> people have to come here all the time to work and vice versa. So it's pretty cheap. So we can just go for a weekend and go see a bunch of fucking shows. Yeah. Get mm -hmm. hammered and then fly back. It's yeah. the best. Just be, be careful with the edibles. <laughs> trip. <laughs> be careful with the edible if we happen to see please them. do especially if they're gummies and you know sometimes they fuse together because they're so sh sugary that you don't realize you accidentally took double the amount uh, Ugh, or when you leave <laughs> chocolate in the car and then all of a sudden it's one big block and you're like all right i could just chip off a part of it and then you eat it and then you're just like that was too much that was too much <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to do it. Uh oh, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> and I do that a, a lot. Yeah. But I have to be stoned or else I, I frown like this. <laughs> so if I'm frowning like that, Sorry. get me stoned. I, I understand completely. Totally. <laughs> Lexi, I want to know, because you have a cool, nice hat, is Holden wearing the naughty hat? Well, they're both the nice and naughty oh. hats. So there's like naughty on this side, and he always oh. wears the naughty one. So he I have always to. Wears the naughty I have side. to balance it, and I have to be nice. You're perfect, Lexi. You're yeah. absolutely perfect. <laughs> because he's yeah, he's been a naughty fucking elf all week. He's oh been yeah. Naughty. He just came in. He's being naughty. <laughs> and there he is, our naughty. intruder. <laughs> I told him that's why the episode page seven this week was called Jankings because he was gonna get Jackie spankings and not in a fun way, in a very bad way. I got a text from Nerdy Herdy with a screenshot from the page seven group saying um, that, that somebody was laughing so much at the idea of me killing Holden and you and Jeff covering up for me. So yeah. <laughs> I was oh, like, yeah, yeah, oh no, no, no. man, I don't know what I missed, but that sounds really intense. <laughs> so, okay, he's, he's getting uh, I'm just jankings. saying, I'm offering it. I'm just saying that we will never allow you to get caught for it. I think the entire Elpian network would be like, I don't know, she's been right here. <laughs> she did it. I've known Lexi a long time, and I don't think she'd ever do anything like that. She would like never that. do something like that. Not, not, <laughs> you see, I'm going to get ready for the reporters standing right outside the building. <laughs> but you can't be too chatty if you were in chat. What's that doc? Have you guys seen that doc? I'm oh, sure yes. The, the new one that came out with, like, everything in her life had been documented because she'd like to, like, vlog and stuff. And then and then it was all the cameras from the police officer's perspective. Her and everyone around home. him was like, he's never like this. Yes. You should look at her husband. He's Does never someone like in this. chat know the name of that? It's like called like a murder story in or America, something. America, it's like an American murder or something. It's really good. I saw Ooh, that. That sounds and... good. Yeah, oh the Watts, God. the Chris Watts doc. Chris Watts doc. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. American murder. Thank, Thank you. you. It's really good. It, it is. It is good. I, this, <laughs> just like I actually, so Sorry, we could have remembered the the name of the documentary where that one dude fucked the entire family. So I just put in documentary about dude fucking the entire family. It immediately came right up. It came right up. That's good. Great. It knew exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> Abducted in plain sight is the documentary I was referring to. Oh and yeah. Remember that? That was I last year. It. In my head, it feels like seventeen years ago. I could not finish it. I was so mad. I was so mad. I just like slammed the remote on the on the table. Went for Remember a walk. when he jerked off the father? The father was like, "I'm not even gay. I don't know what happened." I <gasps> missed it. Start jerking me off. That I was last like... year. That was Wait, last year. What? What documentary is this? Abducted in plain Abduct sight. Oh my oh, god. Oh, hiding in plain sight or abducted in plain sight. It's one of those. It was on Netflix. It's just so infuriating as it unfurls, as it goes along. And so that's why there was a point where I'm like, I'm out. I can't do this. You guys aren't human. And uh and I just, you know, put my hands in my pocket and just start pacing. Uh, oh. because I just couldn't I just couldn't imagine it. 
Um, oh my god! I just remember I, when we yeah. first saw that. Uh, how to, was it? How to make a murderer? That, that like the one that everyone was obsessed with. Uh, how to catch a murderer. And I just remember I watched it with Henry years and years ago, and he just kept pacing and just screaming, "Miscarriage of justice!" <laughs> miscarriage of justice and i now scream that whenever i get upset about something that's <laughs> happening and i just scream miscarriage of justice <laughs> making a murder thank you Arlequin. Quinn. there yes there you go yes i've seen that one too man I, it seems like i don't have much going on but i swear i do i just love watching a lot of tv it ha- it's never ended um never ended that's i mean why i got to why my English is so great. I mean, just growing up watching Fresh Prince of Bel Air is going to do that to you. <laughs> yes, a lot. <laughs> and Delio Spaceman would like us to point out that this is all murder she wrote. So, <laughs> <laughs> which also is a fantastic it. show. Yes. Um, there's like what, like ten seasons of that. I could go on forever about that. Uh, but, but I won't because that's for another day. <laughs> <laughs> we have a question. Thank you so much to Fidget for the $10 donation. Thank, oh, you. thank you. Thank you so much. Have you ever given a gift that you knew was bad, but it was the best you could do at the time? Pens. Pens. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come up with another one now. I promise you I will, because apparently that was a great gift. Uh, <laughs> and so, uh, uh, and that's my main name B said, Sam Caroline. I learned English watching Beetlejuice. Yes. Thank you. Yes, all that stuff works and listening and singing yeah. along to Madonna lyrics. Um, that worked as well. <laughs> um, so a gift that, that that was like the best you can do, but it was like, but it wasn't good, right? Is that yeah, what you're talking about? Yeah. yeah. Um, you oh, knew I'm it sure was there's bad, plenty. That's all you yeah. can do. Oh, I I've don't always know. been notoriously bad at giving my sister gifts because we are very different people. And, I, and, and essentially, anytime I look at something, I'm like, oh, if I hate it, she'd probably love it. And I, I do that a lot. And then there are, there are times that I'm like, I don't even know what to do. And there was one year when I was super broke. And she was talking about how she's like, I always feel like, she's like, I don't know what brush you use, but I feel like every time, like, like you got like, I feel like, is it the brush? And so I just um, gave her my hairbrush. And I was like, I don't think that it is. <laughs> You can have this if you want. And we still, like, now I try to, like, make up for being so, because, like, for many years, like, I would have the ideas of what I could get people, but I couldn't afford it, and I couldn't do anything. So I made a lot of stuff, and people yeah. enjoyed that. But there's also a lot of people that don't give a fuck about a craft. And when you they open it, and you're just like, I worked hard on, on it. Oh you, <laughs> oh, you don't like it. And I, uh, that's a problem sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I like to make things for people and um, (laughs) it's always like I've now taken up this brand new uh, hobby and I uh, am giving you my beginner level practice thing and isn't it wonderful don't you love it and it's like mm, like I made these coasters out of um, wine corks for my dad my sister I, I mean I just made so many coasters because I had bags and bags of wine corks not because I drank all the wine but because I used to worked in fine dining (laughs) and I would collect the wine corks I like it though (laughs) and well they were okay to it they were okay but they weren't level and so like they didn't work as a coaster and so you just put your drink down and it'd be like meh and it's like, whoa, that is <laughs> precarious. Um, <laughs> it's like, do you want to add some danger to your relaxing afternoon? <laughs> Put your drink on this coaster. <laughs> so <laughs> that was probably the worst gift I've ever given. Also, um, I made a trivet for Amy and um, it broke in half. So <laughs> Because cork, probably not good for a trivet. Well, good to know. <laughs> All right. I would have thought otherwise crap. because I've had cork trivets before. Well, this so one was just make flimsy. <laughs> mm. so, I, mean, I also just... can show you guys how my, um. I guess this could be the worst gift I could ever give. <laughs> I bought this vintage bowl for Henry um, from the 1930s. And it was like very, uh, it was very weird because it was like me, it was a purple dish that like I wanted to give him and fill it with lighters so he could smoke weed. And this is how it showed up. Oh Here. my God. <gasps> it's oh not no. Jingle Bells. It's a $100 vintage dish. 
Oh, it's no. broken into hundreds. Oh of no! Hundreds ah. of pieces. And it was the box isn't fucked up. Box is fine. She so didn't they, ship it right. The they put a bunch of. But the woman that I bought it from on Etsy oh, looks like that. she's probably a hundred years old, and I feel bad to say anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, you have you. I understand. It's a hundred dollars, but though, like that's a that was a hundred bucks. Yeah, holy crap! Uh, <laughs> you know I need to get the money back, but it's like it's an old woman that has this little Etsy shop, and I'm like, ah, uh, I don't want you to have to like eat the money either. I know, but you don't know what I mean. Like she might be shipping her cats across the country. You don't also, know what though, might dude, happen. It's the kind of thing too, and I open it up, and maybe it's just because I'm sensitive to it. And it reeks of cigarette smoke. And it's one of those things where I'm just like, as a now non-smoker, I'm just like, Egh! Yeah. Egh! I had it! <laughs> oh my God! So I just like burst into tears when I opened it. <laughs> Jim Marmel, thank, thank you so much you for the You guys are right. I need to tell her, but say it in the nicest way possible of just like, oopsie doops. No. Yeah, like she needs to, like if you say something, maybe it'll help her package things better for other people so. yeah yeah and that's the thing that's exactly what jeff said he's like you should he's like you he's like a person has to know that like if they're not like no matter how mm -hmm. old she is yeah oh. they, that's they're, true they're, they're, a person has to know they want to know i'm sure they want uh, some good feedback even if it's yeah. bad feedback they need feedback yeah no i know i would want mm -hmm. to know I would feel awful. <laughs> Poor lady, too. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> Thank you, Carl Zatan. Carl Zatan says, don't feel bad. That's unprofessional. I'm also a resin crafter. So you know. Like, they just, it wasn't wrapped properly. It wasn't wrapped properly. Mm -hmm. April but says, I love you guys, and I appreciate you guys for listening to me. <laughs> I, I mean, that sucks so bad. April says, ask for a non-breakable item to replace it because you probably won't be losing much that way. So, yeah, I mean, there's there's ways around it. Oh, my God. Um. <laughs> Well, you guys, what are your plans? We've talked about how we feel. Or we talked about our plans for the holidays. Or did we do that before the stream started? I don't remember now. I think it was before the stream started. So we could totally. Um, <laughs> and if you don't remember, that's great. Because then you'll be surprised by my plans. Oh, right, right. Perfect. Yes, I remember. I was like, what are you doing? Oh, right. Everyone's just staying here. Staying at home. <laughs> staying and then at we home. talked about Zoom. Got it. Good Lord, But <laughs> we, we have a new Christmas tree, though. So speaking of spending extra money for just just so you can have a normal Christmas. Um, we bought a Christmas tree like a month ago, like right after Thanksgiving. And then uh, we neglected to realize, like we didn't realize that where we put it was like right next to the radiator. So it just like, like just dried the hell up yeah. in oh, a week. No. And it's corpse just stood there like, oh, you know, no. just, you know, and um, and like pine needles. Me. It's like all sharp because it's so dry. You can't even touch it because it, it just like shakes got down red marks all over you. Oh, no. <laughs> and it just it's been dead for a while. So Marcus went out and bought a new Christmas tree. Like, luckily, since it's like the last minute, like kind of not super expensive Another but also tree. there's only two trees left so he just grabbed one and then he didn't realize it until he brought it home but it's like a lot bigger than the last one so now we're just like crammed in the living room uh but uh it's, it's but it's a cool tree yes we had a corpse tree and i told i even told marcus like we don't have to go buy a new one we could just do like a nice pagan thing where like we can dance around yeah, its corpse yeah you know <laughs> this is tomorrow and, but i hope you still have it we put it uh, we put it outside but we could see it out like through our window so it's still kind of our tree even though it's outside yeah, and then it's an outside it, tree and then the, the, yeah cuz that outside tree could just look in and see it our new tree that we quickly replaced it with and i mean but it's like the things you the the links you will go to to have your living room smell like pine cone is that's what you'll it's do insane. yes yeah. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do we're going to we're gonna visit both trees and and uh, open yeah. some presents and and that's it and finish the Harry Potter series that we started last week. That We're on great. movie number six now, I think. Yeah. Yeah. What about you guys? What are you guys doing for Christmas? I do want to quit take a, just a quick moment because I don't really play video games. Just posted again about this um, about a 
Oh, my brain, oh my God, my brain just froze and stopped working. Um, that happens to me all the time. The Every time I open my recording mouth. recording and delete it too, which is where my brain, I was about to be like, oh. It's like, nope, this is live. We're having a conversation. Where my brain is. Uh, I, <laughs> uh, Trans Santa is an Instagram profile that if you are able to and you have, and you have the, funds to please follow them and there are uh trans youth that write in of people whose families don't support them who families that kick them out people that want need binders people things that are trying to save up for hormones and you can answer their letters that they write into trans santa and send them what they need for oh, christmas that's awesome so trans santa is the instagram account and it's Yes. Also, Wayward Weasel, Transanta. You're right. I should put. I should say. Trigger warning. Transanta is a great follow, but also heartbreaking. So be warned. Aww. But I, um, I've been trying to work with them as much as I can to send out as many things that I'm able to do. And if you are able to, please. I imagine something's going to go on after Christmas as well. Uh, please look into it. And if you can't do it now, in the future, if you are able to, it's just something that. Uh, I really believe in and it really is heartbreaking yeah okay uh, yeah absolutely. thank you so really much for me. sharing that I'm now following them and I started to look through and I got a little sad and then I went back to my home page and there's just chihuahuas being like because that's where there my you home go page is you can go back and forth on that you know whenever <laughs> but, you yeah, need it's to like, I'm too sad okay then you know I just <laughs> and then you and then you look at the dog everything's, everything's fine. fine but that thank you so much for bringing that up that's absolutely amazing I totally want to do that uh we were holden and i were like how can we we want to do like a big charity thing we want to you know do like give like a lot of support somewhere and there's so many things to support and so i think we found it oh that's great oh very cool it really does and it is it's just the kind of thing that uh, you forget and i think that especially with this year we forget the things that we are lucky to have and I know that as much as it would have been like my my mother struggles with the fact that even that I am pansexual, let alone that I don't think that she ever would have kicked me out. I don't think that if I if if I came out to her as non-binary, if I came out to her as trans, I don't think that she ever would have kicked me out. And I'm very lucky. Yeah. Because so many people, we work with an organization in LA called My Friends Place that we do a lot of um, donating to, but also go in and uh, give our time. And it is an organization for specifically homeless LGBTQ plus community teens of people who have been kicked out of their homes. And they provide, and it's great because Miley Cyrus works with them as well. And she is such a... I, Say what you will about fucking Miley Cyrus. Miley <laughs> Cyrus gives, so, talk about following in the steps of her godmother, Dolly Parton. She does, and it is amazing. And not only just money, she's there. She goes and she spends her time there and she puts on shows and she donates money towards it. It is something that really just makes my heart explode. Um, but also My Friend's Place is another organization that if you are able to, or if you live in the area, um, it's in Hollywood and it's, they're a great organization. And people can go into, if you like, oh, I don't use this thing anymore. And they can fill their apartments so they, they help them get on their feet and get apartments and things like that. And then you can just donate stuff you don't use anymore. So I bought, like I'd gotten new pots and pans. So I sent all my pots and pans there, you know, like that kind of awesome. thing. Oh, awesome. okay. Yeah. Yeah, why not? That's a, that sounds great. Like there's so many ways to help then because just giving money sometimes, I mean, it's good. It's very useful, but sometimes it feels maybe a little more personal if you can actually like put in a little bit of time, if, if at all possible. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. very cool. That's amazing. And there's just a lot that I feel like this year has really Holden opened my eyes home. to a lot of things where we did this stuff before, but this is the year that I really like She's kicked saying. it up because I think that I've been able to, I'm the the most stable mentally I've been in a long time. And also financially and just like overall that I'm just like, I need to be doing these things. This is what is most important. And with this year and everything that we've learned in such a time of transition that we're in, that we have to listen to it. What can, like, and I know this sounds so dumb, but it's like, it makes me think of like Muppet Christmas Carol where it's like, what 
yes. wasn't working in your life before. What can we do? What can we do to make other people feel good, to feel included, to build communities? I am on a fucking soapbox right no, now. Sorry. So <laughs> people need to hear this. This is so good. Yes, please do. Go on. And I've been crying a lot uh, lately. I've been thinking a lot lately. <laughs> it's always um, dangerous I when I think a lot. So. <laughs> oh, she's a man, I mean, baby. Though. That's my name, B. Thank you so much for this sub. And also, Carla the Goblin, thank you so much for the $60 donation. Whoa. Bless you. Thank you so fucking much. Thank, Thank you, you yes. so much. <laughs> Their <laughs> message says, so happy to support people who support people. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's yes. very awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, God, I cried on Friday, too. What am I? What is this? <laughs> it's because of the Twilight chapter. I've been crying all week, too. And you guys are not wrong. I have been, I've seriously cried twice this week already. One time, yes, one time also uh, on a podcast. It just, it just, I don't know. It's something about the week. It's something about uh, feelings of uh, goodness and feelings of like, oh my God, there's just so much awful stuff that I, I need to, I, I have to look at, but I don't want to. It's just, it's, yes, I, I'm yeah. being pulled apart from one side to the other. It's really horrifying, but, but it's also, it's very human and I can't help it. And yeah, ah, ah, just, just give me some feelings. pets. Yeah. <laughs> Season of crime. Okay. I got back, says. And also, yeah, Allison, man, God, this week has been weird. Uh, I think that I always, yes. you know, I feel a lot of power around um, the winter solstice. Anyway, it is just, I just feel this like wave of energy right now in a very weird way. And I feel like I have to listen to it and I have to be aware of it and we just have to talk to each other and communicate more and you know yeah. and, and and be there for each other if we can man i was like in a really bad spot this morning mentally and my best friend madeline called me and i haven't talked to her in like two or three weeks and i was like how did you know she's like i needed you too and we just like talked for two hours i had so much work to do and i was like you know what we need to talk I put it fucking down. I was like, it will still fucking be there. What does it matter? Let's just talk on the phone. And we need it. We need yeah. each other right now. We all need each other. And and leaning on each other is scary. It, it's scary. It is scary because it admits, <laughs> it, it admits vulnerability. And uh, I hate asking for help. I hate needing people. I hate it. But um, I have to do it. Sometimes I need help. Like, I <laughs> here's a stupid example. But um, I had to go to the store yesterday and I came home and I w w and my back hurt so bad and I was so mad. And I was like, everything I needed was on the bottom shelf and I bent over too many times and now my back hurts. And it's so Holden's like, if you need something... Like, I can't reach the top shelf either because I'm too short. But he's like, if you need something, ask me for it. And I'm like, no, on principle, because I shouldn't need anything. But I do. And so, uh, <laughs> and I okay. hate that. I hate that. But anyway, <clears throat> that, yes, we need people. We need people. And you know what? I, it doesn't bother me when people need me. You know, so it's like, no. why, why should I put that on, on other people? You know? Oh, yeah. no, I immediately, I'm like, what can I do? What do you need? Yeah, I like Let to be needed. <laughs> yeah. We're so, I was talking with my mom about this too, where I was just like, my mom's hit in a really bad mental spot. And like my sister, you know, it's like, it's the holidays, things and no one's home, everything's different. And I was like, mom, you have to remember, everyone is going through a horrible experience right now, regardless of times of like, of, of waving happiness and remembering that we're all going through it. And that when you get upset with someone and what they're saying and how they're acting and what they're doing and remembering, fuck, I can barely support you because I can't even handle myself right now. And remembering that we are all going through this right now in very different ways and giving each other just that little bit of extra support and giving that little bit of extra just comfort and remember and 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 
and remembering that we're all human beings and that we're all going through something horrible yeah. and that we're here for each other. And that if you don't like my mom was just like, she wants, she's so sad because she's like, I wanted to go surprise your sister on Christmas morning and go in and make breakfast in the house and set everything up. And because, and then she started to cry and she's like, and your sister doesn't want it because she wants, because she my my mom never goes there because we're always home. And so my mom is preoccupied with all that. And she's just like, I'm just so alone. I'm just so alone. And I feel like I have nothing. And she just cried and cried. I was like, it's going to be, like, we have to, it was like, we're going to get through this. We're going to get through it. We can get through this. <laughs> Everything's going to be fine. I know. Oh, I know. It, it is a lot of that. Well, what Marcus and I do sometimes where it's like, you, if you need something, you say like, I need something i need this and this and that and if the other person is also going through something maybe similar or different uh, in a totally different way then like we, we always say like break the fourth wall just be like listen this is i'm going through something i this is about you break i'm not gonna make it about me this is about you this is about you <laughs> but i need like 30 minutes give me i'll be right back i need to yes yes it's like always break the fourth wall just just say it all just Say yeah. the whole thing. Just wink at the camera. Just put it out you there. You know? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's always the best way to do it because, yes, it is crazy. Like, you know, being at home a lot and being like, thought we were going to go somewhere, anywhere. Nope. We're staying here. And that going on back and forth for like, home ever. Bitters, it's home. like literally like you're on a raft and you like, you can see it. But then, but then there's like a, a big wave and you just move back a little bit and you're like, it's okay. It's all right. We'll just get another tree on this raft. You know, like we'll, we'll, we'll buy some. A, a couple old used, uh, the, you know, Christmas records, old school Christmas records and start playing them since since we're not in stores anyway. So we can actually listen to Christmas music and like it. Oh. That's like the biggest thing about my life this year. You know? <laughs> yeah. It's, like, it's even the smallest thing, even the smallest things like like shit like that. Like, that's just exciting. Like I bought and, you know, I'm not this kind of person at all, but I bought candles. Look, I got. I bought candles, <laughs> real candles. I'm finally <laughs> getting a little soul. more like Jackie and Lexi every day. I, I am a, oh, the owner <laughs> of candles that don't do anything. They don't heat food. They're just decorative. <laughs> it's great. I'm, I'm evolving. I'm just, that's all I'm saying. So thank you guys. You I see, love that. <laughs> it's a little things to just try to make things a little bit more special and th thank you uh carl's dad uh welcome to the world of candles i i i'm just visiting okay but i'm i'm oh. enjoying my visit i need to visit somewhere man i love some candles oh my god and also <laughs> i want to say wayward weasel like my heart goes out to you oh my god like that is uh that's what's getting me sad about losing your dog Oh, oh what? Oh no! I was. Oh, you're okay. My I'm sorry girl. to hear that. I want to hug you so badly. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hug you so badly. Oh, oh I'm hormonal. That hurts me right now. <laughs> it's all right, girl. I'm not hormonal. I've been crying through half the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's so funny, Jackie, you are like the prettiest crier on earth. And like, once I start to get sad, like every capillary in my face. Oh, pops, you're so and I'm like, cute. Ugh. Look at how beautiful your hair is with your little hat on. You're so fucking cute. No, you're me. You're a good oh, crier. Oh, Lord. <laughs> And uh, we got another donation from to Fidget. Thank you so much. This is so Thank sweet. You so <laughs> Thank you. Ten dollars. Everyone, give yourself a hug because we all want to hug you. Oh, Aww. hugs. That's <laughs> sweet. Oh, yeah. Okay, bye. I'm myself. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. I'm gonna go back to being feelingless. Starting now. Hold and get out of here. <laughs> Holden does think he's Tom Hanks. I know he thinks he's Tom Hanks, and he's not Tom Hanks. <laughs> you don't understand what we do Let's here. Make that a meme. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we all know my trigger. My trigger is painful childhood or loss of an animal. Forget yes. it. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. Oh, yes. God. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Hug your wife, Holden. Yes, I agree, Var. Yeah, you asshole. Get out of the chat. Come out here. Fucking hug your wife. I'm fine. I don't need you. <laughs> I don't no, need anything. 
don't forget to ask for help when you need it. I understand sometimes it's harder to have, you know, you know, the whole thing where you rather wait for people than have them wait for you. But, yeah. you know, once in a while, you, you, there can be a little bit of a, of a back and forth without you taking full advantage. I know it's hard. It takes a while. But then eventually, at least, you know, ask for the smallest thing and then go from there. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Sure. Also, Tara Sue is right. You don't know what we do here. Gloss shirt idea. Just <laughs> in pink glitter letters. You don't know what we do here. Yeah. Thank you. Get out of the room. <laughs> oh, hold it down. You don't know what we do here. I love that. that that's really that's perfect. Good one. <laughs> Actually, that's perfect. I I like everything about that. Um, yes, we'll have t-shirts made. T-shirts made by next year. So yeah. I'm going to go use the restroom. Uh, go? Right? Yeah, pee it out, girl. Oh, my I God. Will. And so because of this partnership, we're really excited. We're going to have some um, uh, me uh, bleh, 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 emojis. What are they? God, emotes. Good emotes. Lord. We're getting um, emotes made. And um, so we are taking ideas. Uh, they are going to make them and I'm really excited because it's going to be like all professional and fun. So um, we, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, we have a couple ideas, but if anybody wants to throw some ideas in chat, we are all ears. Apparently brass isn't a good idea. I, I want know, brass. I I read that to Holden and he was cracking up. He's like, but just in case we might not be able to do that. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Mommy emote. Mommy emote. That's a good one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, um, that's hard, though, like to kind of take in a little bit. To oh, really yeah, think yeah, about. yeah, yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> We are stage too fancy when we get emotes. Oh, yeah. Got to do some hoots. Absolutely. Jackie's titty dance. A thousand percent. Hoots, a million percent. My hoots. My hoots, <laughs> hoot, baby. Hoot. Hoots in chat. I love it. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> breasts is a great idea. It absolutely is a great idea. I mean, I think that can very easily be disguised as, uh, yeah, uh, as some other things. Reptiles, sure. No snakes, though. Lizards, good. No snakes. No, I know. You don't, yeah, I know you don't want snakes. <laughs> Oh, hot girl, that's a great idea. How about a cauldron for gloss? Yes, I love that. Oh, good one. I'm into that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were thinking about busting emotes. Oh, as yeah. Well. Home. And a lot of food. We always end up with food, maybe. maybe. Oh, maybe. my God. Uncanny Rachel, thank you so much for the $100 donation. Whoa. They just say, Happy Holidays, gloss. Happy Holidays, Uncanny Rachel. Oh, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. That's, that's very, very generous of me. We're oh, gonna put it I, can't even, I can't even handle it. And Sot, $10 donation. Thank you so much. What are you most looking oh, forward to in 2021? We will answer that in just a second. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. I love you guys. Mm, <laughs> happy tears oh, now. Thank you, so, thank you so much, everybody. We really so much appreciate it. You're going to – you're – Becky Lexi cry, but for good uh, yeah. for good reason. And that's Put and it's very coals. very sweet of everyone. <laughs> and everyone in chat as well. And, and just everyone. We love everyone. You guys, oh my God, that is just you I love this community. I mean, I know you guys know that we love this community and everybody loves each other and everything is wonderful, but oh my God. Thank you guys. And thank you guys for being here with us. And I don't really play video games, I said it before, and I know I said it a hundred times on Friday of like, this community is what got me through this. I mean, is continuing to get me through this. And I just, uh, I, I can't thank you guys enough. And MJ yeah. Spaceman, yes, a happy haunted days to you as well. <laughs> My brother who hates uh, feeling and especially around the holidays keeps saying happy haunted days. And I keep trying to get him to be like, but don't you want to talk about how fucked up our childhood Christmas were? And like, no, I don't. Can we not talk about it? Oh, uh, boys. Well yeah but no i i agree because remember sorry, like as I, all boys <laughs> like Just what we said boys. before is that this is a chance for us to um since you know a lot of us can't be with our families this is a chance for us to start our own holiday traditions have our own holiday stories that don't end it you know awful awful situations like uh like candles you know i'm uh, that's a new thing or like you know everyone can have a new thing and in a new memory 
to talk about for years to come. And I think that's cool. Like we get a chance to now be the adults. We get to like yeah. decide like the, we're going to make the Christmas cookies. No one's going to tell us what to do. But I don't want to put on this and that. I, it's scary, but it's like it can be fun. It can be like like finally I can I can listen to like Christmas music. That's not like a choir of nine year olds from like the Andes, you know, <laughs> which I mean, I enjoyed them. But I just that's all we hear every Christmas for our entire lives. I don't want to hear another one about Cascabel. <laughs> you know, I <laughs> don't want to. <laughs> Instead, we're going to put on like something else, anything else. Obviously, Mariah, Queen Mariah will be on the top and then we'll move our way down. But, you know, we just got to just, you know, switch it up a little bit. That's what we're going to do. Uh, and, and now you're going to be like the Lexi. You're the queen of the, your 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 Christmas. You you know you can the queen you can come up with whatever you guys want to do <laughs> and you too Jackie when, when you and Henry do it now instead of reminiscing about the worst Christmas ever you can actually like I don't know what you guys are gonna do I don't know it's gonna probably be pudding based I don't know <laughs> it will be no oh it's cooking based that is the one thing if there is one thing that got us through because you asked us this a while ago one thing that is getting us through is that we have scheduled down to a T. What the food that we will be making from the 23rd through the 25th, we have, we are making so much food that it's dumb. And it's the only way Henry and I can handle it. Yes. And Natalie, who is not a, a cook, has been like maniacally decorating instead. So she's just like, I have to get the lights up. And she's like up on a ladder and Henry and I are like cooking and cooking. And I was like, I was like Everybody just be good. Like, we'll get through the hot. I'm like, why are you so calm? Oh my God, I love that. Uh <laughs> so it asked, what are you most looking forward to in 2021? So from Christmas to New Year's, what are we also, looking thank forward you. to? That is a good positive, like that. Thank you. And thank you all. Great positive energy that we need right now. Something mm -hmm. to look forward to in 2021. I know that we're definitely going back on tour in 2021. And I'm very excited about that. Oh, that's awesome. I want to be on stage again. Yeah. And I feel like that is something that has finally come back to me after how many, many, many years of being on many stages, multiple nights out of the week. And I was like, I'm done with stage performance. I need a break. Got my break. And now <laughs> I will do anything home home. to hear you guys laugh i do anything for it i agree i wholeheartedly agree completely i i never thought that the same thing is like when when we all had to ha hanker down and all this stuff i was just like that's fine you know what i'm totally good with that i mean like just performing and, and just like slapping all the way to newark on and taking the train and then and then performing in front of eight people and then schlepping all the way back home at 1 a.m. and trying to avoid getting robbed or anything and and then um, making 20 bucks. I'm like, I could use a break and now I will go back there. I will go back to every crappy neighborhood. I will, I will anywhere. I will go anywhere. I will go to Pennsylvania. I'll go to Connecticut. I'll go whatever. And I'm going to have a great time. I can't help. I can't help it. I'll Fuck do my, yeah. my, my, my best 20 minutes and uh, while you guys eat dinner. And then, and then I'll go home happy. So I can't wait for that. I'm looking yeah. forward to that too. I'm looking forward to just, I don't know, just just seeing like what, what else we can do because we're coming up with so many things to do. Uh, I never realized how amazing everyone in LPN is like, you know, like, especially you guys, the fact that like, oh, no one could do anything. We ended up just being just as busy or busier. Uh, and so it's, I'm very proud of that. And so we're going to just keep doing that. I think that's great. Yeah. It's awesome. I watch a lot of TV. That's <laughs> I'm I super want excited to see more to of the crown. Yeah. <laughs> we got to start the crown. I want to sure. see. I want to know why. I mean, I want to know why Harry and Meghan Markle. I, I don't know. I know they're not going to do a season of that, but if they do, I just want to know why they went to Canada. Because I have my theories, and I, I want. I want to know if I'm right, even though it, it's just a scripted TV show. But like, still, <laughs> <laughs> I'm into the royals now. I can't help it. Thank you, it's guys. Yes, the crown. Start the crown. Yes, transit. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> what about you? What are you looking forward to, Lexi? I know you're. You guys are moving. Yeah, we're moving. But I, to be honest, like the thing that I, I, I really can't wait to perform again. But I really want to go swimming. 
I just want to go swimming in a pool or the ocean. That's all I want to do. My standards are so low right now, but I just want to swim. That's what What's I'm looking awesome for. awesome is that you could be swimming in two weeks. Babe. I know. I know. I'm so Whoa. excited. Is it is it warm enough to swim? Girl, all these pools are heated. Wait. <laughs> Oh. We got tubs, girl. What oh, you talk? I'm we so got excited. pools that are heated. We got hot tubs. What's great <laughs> is that Kissel's the one that has the pool, and then you just go, Daddy Kissel, warm up the pool, and then um, he has to. Oh, That's right. Amazing. Oh, I can't wait. Um, Harlequin. Oh, wait, Jackie, what are you looking forward to? And then I'll get to Harlequin's message. Oh, I said I'll be performing on stage live. Yes, yes, that's right. Oh, wow, my short-term memory you, is... No judgment, no judgments. You stop that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Oh. <laughs> wow, that worked. That worked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Harlequin, uh, thank you so much for the dono. She says, I can't afford anything this week, but I wanted to thank everyone who did our gift exchange. Brain worms have been really struggling lately and uh, struggling lately and I haven't been participating as much. Don't worry. But being a part of this community has given me a reason to keep going. I love you. I Aww. love you guys. Love you. Too. Yes. I love you too. She's saying I love you to us. I said that in reverse. You know what I mean. Um, <laughs> that's. And it was so, so great to fun. meet you so this fun. year. Can you believe that that was this year? Not to be like the Mimi's, but can you believe Harlequin that that was this year? Um, wow. Right. We were looking at, I know that I feel like we've been, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's $600 stimulus. <laughs> Just check saw that. Year. But uh, <laughs> I have thoughts on that. We'll talk about that another time. I we were looking at pictures from when we were on tour in January and I I am markedly older. I look <laughs> different than I did then. Like it is crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I was like I don't look like I had I mean, well, my eyebrows have grown in, so that's the difference. But also, I just like I felt like I had a spark in my eyes that I don't have. And yet I do feel zestier creatively than I have in many, many years. There you go. Yeah, yeah. exactly what I was thinking about uh, about everyone. The fact that everyone's kind of been uh, just just kind of been getting to work at home. Yeah. And just trying to trying to come up with stuff and trying to uh, figure out like that's the best way to if anything entertain yourself is to just make yourself busy because only boring people are bored and so i uh, hell i've never we're never bored to be honest so yes that's right I, I i also feel a little zestier as well and less frustrated about like just things in general and i think maybe it kind of did help at least the smallest silver lining you can possibly think of in, in the horrors of the world today is just the fact that we all got us like a second to breathe. And I'm, I'm not saying in any way does that justify what we're going course, through, but, but, but at the very least, side. at least, yes, at the very least, we can all spend a little bit of time and be like, you know what? I haven't like called up this friend in like five years, yeah. but, but if I ask them to zoom chat, they're going to be like, yeah, you know, cause no one's, Cause why <laughs> you know? not? Because no one's going yes. anywhere. Everyone's exactly. available. We can hang out with each other. <laughs> We're all we all have a, a bottom line that we can all relate to at one at one place or another, and then we can move from there. And if anything, that's at least helped. It's helped a lot with social anxiety. Yeah. Um, it's helped a lot with uh, whatever you know FOMO bullshit that people call it, but that's a real thing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's helped a lot, like across the board. So if, if anything, for your mental health. Even though it, things might feel like it might be going down, you're like, well, there's also some positives. At the very, very least, I feel at least that uh, I, I can take a minute to sit here and be like, well, what should I do next? I mean, other than trying to make a movie starring my dog, which I've been working on forever. I mean, that's Ooh, what's excellent. the plot? Well, I had a couple. One of them was about like a monster that was chasing Georgie because no, she doesn't like the phone. She's so scared. Exactly. So I thought that's not good. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have her method. <laughs> Don't act torture that one. her for exactly the sake of oh, art. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. Well, she she doesn't like it when I just do this, and so she always goes like that. I'm like, oh, that'd be perfect. Aww. She could be. A, but that's not always scared. Mean. 
<laughs> yeah. And then and also, also, especially because now she's so used to it, I do that and she goes, so she's not even going to be a good actress for <laughs> Does that. Does it work anymore? Uh. <laughs> so I got to I got to keep brainstorming uh, if anyone has any ideas. <laughs> we can start. We can figure some stuff out. We can I always can figure some stuff out. <laughs> I'm ready for it. <laughs> but I'll throw around some ideas. That's, that, that is my that is my uh, my my dream I've had my entire life is always uh, is to become a film director. I know that's not the path I chose and I'm fine with that. I don't regret it, but I still need to make like at least a three minute movie just to show that I, I at least I did it once. So that's how gonna... HW says Georgie saves Christmas. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That's a very Fellas, good I, one. I mean, Do something with the two trees. And like, if you can make it as <laughs> if like she's the one that got you the, the tree. New... Like she was the one that saved Christmas. I think you could figure that out of just her standing there, just like, and then you do like a, and you yeah. do voiceover over it. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Of oh, the yeah. inside. You do it like uh, Milo and Otis. Yes, <laughs> that's what I'll do. Or the doorbell will ring and I'll open it, and she's just sitting there in front of the tree. So yeah, I, man. it looks like she Wait, just what's your Georgie voice? Um, gosh, I forgot what it was. It was like whoa. It was something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I could, I'm, that was for the first project. That was for my Frankenstein black and white movie. Oh. Uh, so I got to change it back. Um, I forgot what the other one was. Buckets of Blood, but it's Georgie. But it's <laughs> Georgie. I, it. I remember when we saw Buckets of Blood. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I mean, that's that was a very slow moving movie, uh, very slow moving. And like there was no, no one was really in the right shot. So that might be part of that that might work uh but um i just I mean, love sorry the the people traumatized in chat because of milo notice <laughs> i was obsessed with milo notice as a kid and i don't know why i, I just like, i watched it all the time and i just remember my older the, uh, my older brother henry and my older <laughs> sister would just be like but it's so boring and i'm like but the crabs are coming. And like, I was so <laughs> invested. And like, I always knew it was going to happen. And then finding out later on of how many dogs and cats died while they were shooting it. Uh, no. I guess it really does. What? what? Really? I didn't know that. How you feel oh, about it. Oh. And that the is my cue lot, lot to them. go to the bathroom. I will be right back. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to just try to wash that uh, out of her eyes. Like a, <laughs> like a good amount of them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All dogs go to heaven really mess me up. Hot girl, 331. Oh, my God. That messed me up, too. I didn't fathom that there was an idea that dogs died at all until they brought it up. So thank you. All dogs go yeah, to heaven. Didn't even think about, about it. it. Yeah. <laughs> whole movie about it to remind you. Yes, exactly. The that fidget one. says, I think it was 33 orange kittens that died during the making of my, it's like something that's what? like, all like too many, like, it's like, what were they doing? Just like, yeah, oh, just like throw, I just imagine them throwing them into the scene. Like, like, why, how? I know, but that, how does that even happen? Like, did, did, I, I don't even want to. I thought that they were more resilient than that. Yeah, yeah, cats, of course, they have nine nine lives. They nine land lives. on their feet. They spent them all. They don't always. Oh my gosh, I didn't know. I, hope, <laughs> I really hope Homeward Bound was not that way, but because I know Michael J. Fox would never attach his name to a movie that would kill animals anyways. No. So, um, which uh, Homeward Bound, let me just tell you, it is actually still a good movie. It holds up. I'm surprised myself. Is it? Yeah, it holds up beautifully. I can't believe it. And you will cry, uh, especially this week be the most i don't know we're, we're all on the same cycle you know of like just the feeling of i don't I think know it's the moon cycle i'm gonna throw it out there and i don't usually Christmas like to cycle. just say that but i think it's the moon cycle it has to be <laughs> or it's it, that it's the saddest holiday to have ever existed in most of our lives i don't know it is a, yes it is in a lot of ways a lot of us have lost a lot of things but I, i'm going to turn it around and i'm going to light a lot of candles and thank you i don't really play video games uh homeward bound i'm just telling you it just it still holds up but yes I, we're gonna i'm gonna just make this like the coolest christmas ever and i you know i feel like i've already become almost like my mom in a sense like i'm finally coming into that role in a sense of like um we're gonna have fun guys 
We're going to have a good time. All right. And I'm sure within five years, I'm playing the same crap, uh, you know, uh, records that she did. But at least like I that is the, um, the the circle of life, I guess. That's where I'm going to end up going to be making Christmas cookies <laughs> <laughs> and lighting candles. And so they're not scented. Exactly no. is, can anyone explain to you what the great conjunction is? Because I've been hearing ask. this. Do you know what it is, Lex? Is no, what? I was asking. No. I know that it is something to do. I know it is something to do with what's happening right now here as well as here. Um, oh, I, I am job. not aware. Yeah. If anyone in chat would like to let us know, because I'm, I'm very curious to know as well, like what what the, uh, I'm, I'm Googling it. I, I wanted I cheated. <laughs> I'm Googling it. <laughs> Hell, please explain. I need yeah. I need I feel I like need to look, look into there it. are people typing. It's also the age of Aquarius. Awesome. Jupiter and Saturn will be the closest since 1623 and the closest observable since 1226. That means 2020's extra close Jupiter-Saturn conjunction won't be matched again until uh, 2080. Is that right? Or did I completely Google a completely different thing? That sounds yes, right. Oh, no, that okay. is what it is because multiple orange peel says Jupiter represents growth. Yes. And Saturn represents limits. So it's a great, it, it's great for starting long-term projects. Oh, okay. I got you. Like a three-minute movie about a dog. Yeah. <laughs> long-term projects. Oh, fucking <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Metal Black. All right. Very good. Okay, so we got this. Conjunction is something that we were talking about in the astrology stream. That's like, that's an astrological aspect where you, it's like the, how the planets are oh, it's gonna make a christmas other. star that's what i'm sorry i keep hearing about the christmas star next to each other yes oh oh it's gonna make a christmas star <laughs> <laughs> that's exciting no, I, 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 that was completely like I honest my so reaction. So Even the, i can sometimes like be too much and then it, i realize it comes out um uh like as uh, facetious but it's not but thank you no, I know. We know, girl. You know, I yeah. I promise I'm not hungover. I promise, like, <laughs> I've gotten plenty of sleep today. I promise, like, my brain should be uh, running on all cylinders. But for some reason, it's not. That's it's okay. okay. <laughs> it's, it's this kind of week. It is totally, That's we're totally allowed to have that. I feel like after, out of 52 weeks, I think we have about 12 of, it's just that kind of week, at least. And this year we had like about 30 of them. Yeah. So yeah, it's totally sure. understandable. It's this kind of week. You know, it's like, I don't know. I, I, I you know, I wake up at 4 a.m. for no reason. So I figured like, I, 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 I guess I'll eat all the chips ahoy because it's that kind of week. Like you just give yourself a reward for waking up for no reason. Yeah. You know, Ooh. just do whatever you want, you know. Who cares? I don't know why. I feel like I'm, you know, that movie 13 going on 30. I feel like I woke up and I can just do whatever I want. Uh, <laughs> you and, now, this is what you were talking about before kids. about like be like making i know it's like a, we're trying to make our own traditions we're trying to it's like oh well you know it, it is like which is weird you know being in your 30s just be like oh it, it is my it is my holiday i can do with it what i wish and trying to make new traditions but it is scary because i hate to be like and eh, the adulting like i realize immediately i'm like i'm not ready to be a matriarch I can't, I can't handle it. Like Henry immediately defers to me about what we're going to do for Christmas. Like I can't handle it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Call mom. I don't know. Why don't you, you know, you guys should really make Ed in charge. I think he would be good at that. Ed is the one that should be. In yeah. Charge. He yeah. is the one that it should be, but he's going through a lot here as well right now. So mm. he can't handle being in charge of anything. So it's one of those things where we're all just trying to like, work together and i definitely <laughs> burst into tears because i saw that uh the thing that my mother and i bought for henry for christmas he had bought for himself ah! i saw it yesterday and i was like <sighs> like i finally like felt my mom <laughs> like i felt i've never felt more like my mother in my entire life where i was just like oh, okay oh, oh. <laughs> like i'm just making horrible Sounds, and I didn't want to say anything about it. And I just went to Jen. I was like, and he's like, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. The rest is not ruined. Yeah. Yes, Curly Shoe. You don't buy anything for yourself during December. You don't. 
Yes. That's I why I make notes. Marcus already did that too. One of the gifts I, I gave him, he's like, oh, I'm going to go stop at a store really quick. I just, there's something I need. And he got something and I'm like, did you have to do that? And it's something cheap. It wasn't even expensive, but it was like, what? Because I wanted to give him like, uh, like not like expensive things. I wanted to give him a lot of like, cheap thing like not cheap but inexpensive Fun things, things to open so yeah. that way he, like that way like the, the the tree like the presents under the tree looks like full so i'm like thinking like if i spend like you know ten dollars here and like you know five dollars there like it'll look like oh my god i got like a lot of stuff and um uh, so, uh, 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 uh t-a-e-h fidget said carolina it wasn't cyberpunks 2077 no it was, <laughs> I'm, i mean like ten dollar things i mean i i have a smaller budget than Marcus. But um, so I, you know, he went to the store just as an errand to get something. And I, and I was just like, it's clay, by the way, he got clay because he likes to mold things. And I, I got him like a whole big thing of it. And then Aww. he just went and bought a ton of it. And I'm just like, thanks a lot. You know, I'm, I, I'm probably, I mean, I'm going to give it to him anyways. I don't care. I'm going to give it to him. And maybe I'll clay. hide the clay he bought. I hide yeah. this shit he bought like two days before, so it seems like a helpful thing, uh, <laughs> or double the clay, you know, or whatever, whatever it can be. Yes, uh, but yes, d- never. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't buy anything for yourself in December. Marcus can buy all whatever video games he wants because that's just that. I mean, just he, you know, like that kind of thing. If that's your hobby, I'm not gonna. <laughs> is like no, I am not to, gonna like, get. We You're have already like gonna get an it old yourself. system because Jeff is like just he very lightly plays video games and he was like said something about like getting Grand Theft Auto like the last Grand Theft Auto and I was like oh I'll get it and then I went online and Henry's like you don't like buy the game like the guy the game is on the, and I was like but how do I make it on the how do I put it there how do I make it I was like I bought this and he's like oh you bought it and I was like I bought it and I have it <laughs> and what do I do I put it <laughs> And I was just like tapping the title, like, do I? How do I put it? In the thing? <laughs> like, yeah, you don't buy, like, you buy them through the thing, and then I was like, I- through Steam. That's a new thing. I just learned what that was. Steam, I'm like, Steam thing. In Silent Square, yes, you can still buy. Like, it was like you can still use you, it though. Yeah, right? it was like you can use this. Yeah. right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, that's why GameStop exists still. Yeah. Somehow, somehow. I can't believe it. It still exists. I saw. Yeah. I saw it once too. Like when we were driving, I was like, holy crap. People, it's like it. it's like the blockbuster video of uh video uh, video games yeah. but i love blockbuster i lo- i used to love that because they would always it would be the only reason why to watch any you know hugh grant movie is because <laughs> he was on the cover of it and <laughs> and it just looked like okay i don't know anything about this movie but he's on the cover so i'm just gonna watch it i don't even know i don't even think he's cute but i want to watch it because i can't stop staring at him because <laughs> uh. he's so english just yes. so white and English. <laughs> it's just, it's exciting. I don't know what it is. It's just fascinating. There's some people you just, I just can't stop staring at. And that's why they are movie stars and TV stars. Like Sandra Oh, I can't stop staring at her face. Yeah. I love her face. Yeah. I love the way she talks. I do. Oh. She could be in anything and I'd watch it. I love yeah. her. I completely understand. <laughs> <laughs> I would wear a t-shirt with Sandra O oh on it. Oh, uh, Notting Hill. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh Notting Hill. That's a good one. <laughs> what are y'all's feelings about Love Actually? I like it. You like, I like Love it. Actually? Yeah. <laughs> Am I alone in this? Is is it is it overrated? No, or I love Love Actually. <laughs> yeah. I love it, but I, I will say, as a like. fat woman forever, it is always. I'm just like, <laughs> she's not fat. Like oh, I, the I, Natalie like, girl. As a, no. That is the one part of it that like. Growing up was oh like that was I know so that there's many other problematic issues with it too like especially like the anti-American sentiments you know it's like it's bah, 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 you know all the other things but that part was always I'm like that's fat then what am I then what am I the chubby girl yeah I remember I was just like and complex <laughs> just immediately it's like huge thighs wait huge thighs are bad when when is it, when did that become bad. Yeah. No, it's true. Natalie is hot. Uh, Queeble said so. Natalie's, yes. Oh, she's, super hot. I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. So much hotter. I mean, like Kira Knightley, yeah, she's a beautiful woman, but it's not, you know, that part it's is fine. creepy as fuck too. The it's way they fine. just like, if you're going to make a wedding video, <laughs> you can't. Ma- you think nobody's ever going to see it? 
You <laughs> have to include the entire wedding, you idiot. And yet still, I melt, like, you know, 15-year-old me melted for it in silence. Like, I no one knew that I would watch those kind of movies. <laughs> I it all to myself because I had, like, you know, the buttons all over everything. And I had, like, my goth, like, I was being a goth. And I had my ball chain necklace. But I loved Colin Firth. And mm -hmm. um, I was completely, even though technically yes. that is weird. That is definitely a weird, like that storyline yeah. is yeah. a little. They're all weird. They're all weird. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. But it's like what you grow up watching. You yeah. don't you question it. And you're just like, oh, okay, I guess, you know. I'm into it. <laughs> In the same way that like I keep screaming on my many different platforms about rewatching Home Alone this year. But like, and everyone's like, oh, well, she would be like thrown into jail for child in danger. All of a sudden it's like. And, and that how they would die and everything's like, but still, it is a solid movie. It yes. is a great movie. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. it, it's delightful. It is well made. It's well thought out. It, it's the exposition is done in a really great way. They explain everything and how it happened. Tight. Yep, and, and the physical comedy is perfection. It really is. Joe Pesci uh, in a lighter comedy role, and it works. Daniel Sturt, like it, everything about that movie is perfect. Uh, just the way they hurt themselves over and over again and still make it look like a cartoon is just and not like cheesy or campy at all. I, I, I will always love that movie. Yeah, always. That's a movie I put on even now. Like if my parents and I were together for Christmas, we we watched that. We'd watch that like 100 times. That one and the Michael Bublé Christmas special, because for some reason, that's what we watch, too. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. Matt 2D says, I wish there was a love actually for gays. And I agree with that. Yeah. Let, yes. I mean, this movie's really old, but yes. Where is yeah, that? I mean, to be you know what? If they would have made a love actually, I bet you half of it would have been gay um, if they did a 2021. Also, oh, that's yeah. why we have to, and I haven't seen it yet. I want to see the um, Fran Drescher, the fact that... <laughs> I think I can't remember if it's Hallmark or Lifetime. I apologize. I confuse the Parisha two all the Tan. time. Got it. That it is a because they are desperately trying slightly to make their movies more inclusive. And Fran Drescher plays the mom of like it's like her gay son. And it's like it is a stereotypical gay men's movie. And in the same way where it's like, I of course would immediately be like, that is not what, but for Hallmark and Lifetime which is all stereotypes, technically it is perfect. It is the idea of like, no, now you are just a part of our, the part of the rest of the community of making these schlock movies that we <laughs> like to watch. Did Matthew D, did you watch it? Oh, you don't get it here. Oh no. And uh, I know you're in the UK. All right, we gotta, uh, we have to get it to you. Yeah, I'm no. I, yes, I, I had Marcus. I, I had to like go find Marcus. And I'm like, Marcus, what's your password? He's like, for what? For your credit card? Because I'm, I'm subscribing to the Hallmark app like, for <laughs> two weeks again this year. Because, you know, and then I watch it and then I get horribly offended by one movie and then I put on another movie and then I I, I love it. So it's, it's, you know, it's always like, you never know. It's a toss up. But, <laughs> but yeah, why not? Why not? I mean, a Corgi Christmas? Yeah, of course I'm going to watch it again. I accidentally bought it. A Corgi Christmas? Yes. No, it's not good. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's why I think I could be a director. <laughs> if, I mean, or even a Hallmark <laughs> movie director. That's also another thing. It's like, listen, if the stakes are so low and the bar is so low, like you can give me a job and I will make it like a little better. Better. A little, a little bit. better. And a I'll cast better. you. Obviously, you guys are casted. Duh, of course. Well, and, I finally showed. Yeah. So I talked about this. So we've got the Muppet Christmas Carol pop history coming out on Tuesday. And on the uh, Muppet Christmas Carol pop history, I was talking about the Christmas toy, which is a Jim Henson Christmas special from 1987, I think. And, and growing up, we were obsessed with it. And I haven't seen it in a long time. And I was like, Jeff, I want to watch this. Like, can we watch it? And then we watch it. And after he's like, that was like really sad and very bleak. And I was like, no, it's a, it's a Christmas movie. <laughs> it's bleak. I've never it's seen bleak. that one. It's bleak. It's like toys. It's Toy Story before Toy Story. Oh. And without the happiness, like it is like, but if they, if the toys are seen moving by people, 
they go into the nothing forever and they lay there like a toy corpse on the no. side in the side of the playroom and it i and so watching it with him and then i just kept looking like oh is it oh this is oh i've always liked sad things <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Better yeah. note that back here. I don't oh, know if Christmas oh. for you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Jackie. What? We should just make it another thing. You know? <laughs> Oops. And so in the in the episode, I was like, you gotta watch Christmas Story. You gotta watch it. And then now I'm like, I don't know if I should have said that. <laughs> Especially this year. It's weirdly bleak. I don't know if it's for everyone, uh, but I said it. And uh, that between that and now, I want tonight. I'm gonna watch a claymation Christmas celebration. Did you guys ever watch that one? No, no. no. The raisinets <laughs> and the like claymation dinosaurs, specifically oh, both of you. Great. I think would fucking love a claymation Ooh. Christmas. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. I'm down right. For that. We got I some. Mean... We got. We got some in chat. See, I know that. Uh, apparently, oh my God, an Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas, which is also on um, Disney Plus, and you can watch it there. I have to write this down. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm screenshotting everything because I, I don't want to. I think Christmas this. celebration. I'm pretty sure you can watch on YouTube. Uh, I, I know that I watched it last year on YouTube. Uh, or you can maybe down. You can get it on. Oh, that's just the DVD on Amazon. But, but All find right. it, and it's delightful. I and it's this. got great, like, like four men quartet R and B versions of Christmas songs. And also, it's claymation dinosaurs. Yeah, about Christmas. <laughs> All I right, I'm it. down. I'm down for this. Okay, also <laughs> I get. I can't believe this. I mean, I was trying to watch the Dolly Parton one, but it just, I, it wasn't really for me. Although I love, I love Dolly Parton, but it's like, you're just, you're not even in the scene. Oh, we want Jesus. more Dolly Parton. We, we need needed more Dolly Parton. Yes. Can yes, Tamales, exactly. thank you so much for the sub. Thank you, Goofy Bee. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, Ooh. she's a man, baby. Uh, focused apathy just subbed to uh, to the thing who? The th oh, yes. Cliffy P5 is gifting oh, five tier one subs a... to the community, man, baby. Anxious Spider Man. You Thank just you. got a sub. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> and, um, oh, she's a man, baby. Uh, gamer girl, welcome, welcome. You can I, use those fun emotes now, guys. <laughs> I like that's my name, B. I'm ready for a hallmark with a bi woman who falls in love with a man and a woman and can't shoot. So they all become Polly. I, I will watch the fuck out of it. I'm going to draft Please. it tomorrow by next Christmas. Yeah, no, that seems like that. that's perfect. That's perfect. It's like, you know, uh, the best Christmas gift I ever got was... The two of you, and then they hold. I don't know. We'll yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that sounds great. Fuck. Yeah, I want to watch that <laughs> Cinemax Hallmark movie. You know, like I want to watch that version mm. of it. Ooh, like it, like the the late night ones or whatever. The God, we watched so Making much Cinemax Christmas growing sexy. up. Never put a cable box in your child's bedroom. <laughs> At least if their child is really? as horny as I was, because I watched Cinemax. <laughs> every night oh you're so lucky the rest of us had to like like creep into a living room hope that no one wakes up turn it on and then once you turn on the tv you immediately start pressing the down volume so you don't uh, wake anyone you're just like ah. oh my god the fidget <laughs> real sex i watch so much real sex oh my god hey. yeah thank you lisa rose yes let me know how Although i can get in on the production yes i'm gonna need some investors uh, i apologize <laughs> i take that back i don't think i the second i said that i realized i felt weird about it i would immediately be fine with it. it's like at the same time I was fucking masturbating my pussy till it almost fell off. Like, isn't that what you want from your teenage child? Like, technically, I learned how to get instead myself of, off in my in bedroom. Street. I didn't have to slink around and get it <laughs> other fucking ways. It was just right there. So I take back what I said. Put cable boxes in your kid's room. If there you go. Keep them home. You know, keep them home and jerking off in their rooms. Oh, now that the internet's all out there, and that's like that's a whole conversation about like, listen, I know what you're gonna look at, all right, but just make sure it's <sighs> it's all April five thousand. It's know, crazy. cage free, you know all that stuff. Cage you gotta free. make sure. Organic cage free. Yeah.
yes. Jesus. Yes, man, baby. Yeah, cruelty thank you free. so much. Uh, beef core. Uh, thank you so much for the sub. The and... fidget said I masturbated to racy playing cards that some weird guy gave me. There's times like that when I think about this sometimes. I'm like, man, the things that I could masturbate to when I was, it's like you could just look at it and be like, if I hold my eyes like this, it looks like breasts. So I think I can get off. <laughs> 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 for me it's a michael crichton novel where there's a sex scene and just reading the page over and over again yes just i i see i'm serious i'm like an open book now i'll tell you anything <laughs> well for ten dollars you can specifically ask carolina anything <laughs> you know what am i gonna do with it i just gotta <laughs> tell you all of it <laughs> but uh, yes if, the, if anything, that would be a nice new Christmas tradition is putting on uh, a lot of real sex uh, episodes. That would be a fun one because we're all adults here, you know, and, and Georgie doesn't care. So that that would be a fun one, a real sex yeah. marathon. Take one, you know. This is a great <laughs> idea. Thing. How do we yeah. find real sex? Now I got to go pee. I'll be right back. No, go for it. Yeah, no, I mean. We, we, I got to pee. <laughs> I'm not going to get off to real sex. <laughs> yeah, what? Let's see. They, they had that. Um on uh it was HBO on hbo for a while for a while yeah it's like and so recently, it's probably oh was it recent i, I, I don't know but maybe there's got to be some way to find it i'm sure there is and mm -hmm. someone will let us know if <laughs> I, I don't know if it's on hbo max that would be so cool uh to have in the background while we're like basting the ham or whatever yeah uh so to learn about you know whatever miss naked lady 1993 in colorado i think that's or great <laughs> i am pro this the cat house oh my the cat god house i remember that when uh, i remember the dude i died i don't gosh all i remember I mean, wasn't there like this one lady who was like i've been here for 40 years i think that's air force amy i think that's yes! Yeah, she that's was uh... cool. She was cool. Man, she had a lot of miles on her, but she was cool. <laughs> <laughs> I respect that lady. She was a hard earner. Um, anyway, so yes, I'm basing the ham. Yes, I obviously don't know what I'm talking about. For sure, a euphemism. <laughs> Oh my God, taxi cab confessions. Are you guys talking Love about taxi, taxi cab confessions? Cab. Well, uh, cat house. But uh, yes, oh. also taxi cab confessions. I thought that was always really interesting. I'm just like, how are they getting this person to say all this stuff? <laughs> Which is it really blew my mind. I thought that cabs were really like that. Because growing up in Queens, we never were in cabs because, you know, we were out in the suburbs. So we had a car and it, it, or like took the train places. Uh, and and just the, the I thought that everyone had sex in cabs and and gave out their like deepest darkest secrets in cabs. <laughs> and as someone that has at least done some things in cabs, it's never good. No, it's not. No, I very weird. And you don't usually remember it. That's it. That's it. If we you think you did it, and then you're like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you look down there for. Like you think that something's like Somebody your left pussy. A note. You're like, yeah, you got grabbed. You know, and it's like, oh, they don't. It doesn't tell you. Yeah, it happened. It was great. <laughs> they text you. <laughs> um, I I just remember being like, I've never done anything in a cab, and then like Holden being like, um, uh, I can think of like maybe three or four times, and I'm just like, what, what? Me in the back of a cab. Just like man, alcohol yeah. is a drug. <laughs> yeah. Yep. No, no, I agree on that one. Man, it's been a while too. It's yeah. been a I mean that's, that's, that's I've a, been in a cab as well. It's a twenties uh, game. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Yeah. It's also no, like now a first it's like, no, we have a game. whole bed. What do we <laughs> you, there's a whole bed. There's no reason. We have a whole to, house. We can yeah. be you, 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 go home. Wait till you <laughs> You can Keep make it all you want. You can grab on the outside. I guess, God, I've been talking about this a lot lately. The phrase heavy petting and how disgusting it is and how I've always been disgusted by it. And there's just the idea of someone just like, I just imagined someone coming up and just being like, <laughs> you know, like in my head, that's what I thought heavy petting was. Yeah. You know? Or just like, why do they call it that? Heavy. Yeah, that was, heavy yeah. petting is disgusting. I, that's an awful, that? awful name. Why, why did we all go along when that one person said that? 
I don't know why we did that. We're just gonna let that go. We're gonna. I'd rather like rough touching or That's sensual, better. like sensual grabbing. Yes. I'd rather those things. Sensual consensual grabbing. Can Ooh. we make it that instead? Yeah. Sensual consensual grabbing. I love <laughs> that. Sensual grabbing. The last that sounds one. complicated, but it's very simple. <laughs> I'm down for it. I'm down for it. <laughs> it's complicated, but it's very simple. <laughs> or oh, the yeah. rubs, Matthew D. I like. Oh, Jamarmel says rubs. sassy graspins. Oh, sassy or I guess graspins. sassy graspy, I think is what I would prefer. Yeah, sassy grasping. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Uh, parallel play from, uh, from Broad City. Yeah, all right. Well, uh, ooh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Can go, that, I can go, go for that a little bit. Yeah, because I, I, I do remember there were a couple of Ubers that Marcus and I, I mean, like, you know, just making out and stuff like that. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. I think even at one point uh, I said, like, let's play some music. And then, like, cab driver was like, no. So, like, I put on my phone and put it on very low. I was like, okay, let's make out to the music. It was like <laughs> so lame. You ready to uh, make out now? I yeah, that. and and That's then the, adorable. The, the first time Marcus said like maybe we will get married one day like as a fun like little thing to say thing to say and it was like a beautiful moment between me Marcus and this lady named Aisha <laughs> who had to listen to the whole thing. Listen to the whole. Oh my god, the you amount you forget how close they are to you. <laughs> you don't even think about it though usually because if you're in a cab. You are too drunk to get on the train or you need to be home because like, oh, I got to be in work in three hours and I have to get like, and I'm hammered and I got to be home as fast as possible. And the things that the cab drivers, I will say that part is in cab, like taxi cab confessions. The things that cab drivers had heard me say and confess and talk about where I'm just like, well, yeah. That's you why know that about me and not that I, we'll probably ever see each other again, but you know that now. <laughs> Exactly. That's why I, I will never forget that lady's name. That the, the yep. she was such a nice woman, and she picked us up in, in her in her car. It was an Uber, and I I saw her name was Aisha. Aisha, and that was like that moment where I was just like, um, I know you're not gonna respond, and you're just probably trying not to listen, but you're in our life story. Oh, <laughs> that's actually really forever. Sweet. Yeah, forever, forever. I I love all of the um, euphemisms people are coming up with in chat, like parallel play. Or no, we already said that. Donnie Steuben said deep dishing, which I really like as well. Love and rubbing. I, I, I love that one, actually. Yeah. I'm going to go with that one. Uh, I like a good alliteration. So. Yeah. <laughs> and also, uh, Beefcore, you subbed and you put a lovely note in your sub, but I can't access it. So um, I just, if you want to retype your note, I will read it if you want me to. To just fidget, say. Montpellier, right? Vermont? Oh, the, the capital of Vermont? Right. Oh, Montpelier. Or is it Pelier? 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 I don't know. <laughs> Oh, Pelier is probably how the stupid uh, Florida education system wants me to say it because that's <laughs> where I learned what the capital of Vermont was. But it's probably Pelier, isn't it? Um, all right. Who knows? <laughs> not sure. I'm not I want sure. $100 of bitch in cash cab! <laughs> Yay! Oh, my God. I always wanted to be in cash cab. That's an excellent question. What game show do you guys think that you would be best at? Ooh, that's a good question. Dude, Henry and I have a cash cab. And Henry and I were in a cash cab. We would be able to fucking, like with what he knows mixed with what I know, with the pop culture and his all his dumb fucking bullshit, we <laughs> could win so much money. Oh, and speaking I of bet. winning so much money, uh, Cal Dame, thank you so much for the $100 donation. What? Is it because I said Mount Billier? I think it's so. I think miracle. so. Keep saying it. That's great. Thank you so much. It's really. Thank you so fucking much. That's amazing. I don't know. I don't know how. I'm, I'm speechless. I can't even um, handle this right now. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very, thank you. Thank, thank you. you so fucking much. Thank you. Very. So, so generous of you guys to do something like this. Uh, very. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, wow. 
I, 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 that's, I meant it when I said I'm unable to speak. All right, well, go on cash cab. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, why not? I mean, like, I've never seen any cat. I mean, I, I know friends who've been on cash cab, but I've never seen it before. So I, but I do have a feeling that I, I could probably do okay with it. I probably could. I mean, all the other game shows I really know is like, a, I, I really enjoy a good wheel of fortune now. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm a, you know, I'm a crossword puzzle kind of girl. And I also like, uh, you know, like the find the, find the word jumble mm -hmm. stuff I, I i like that kind of like busy work kind of stuff um so i'm gonna i'm gonna go with that yeah i'm gonna go with wheel of fortune what I about uh what about you guys i so so wait hold on what did you i got distracted jackie because the donation came in but what did oh, you yes. say it was <laughs> no i apologize i because i don't hear it so i, I apologize i talked over it. but um i really Lost like you no know, i love cash cab i think that cash cab is one of the few yeah. that i think that i would do like prices right i can't handle i don't think i don't think that i could do it i'm not good at uh, jeopardy of pressure i'm not smart enough like i need to be on like on like family feud <gasps> i would i fucking think kill it fan I yes think I could yeah fucking kill we it. should go on family feud i would mm -hmm. love to do that yeah yes. i remember i had like the dos family feud game back in the day that like that i would play with all the questions because like if there's i mean i can usually at least problem is is that i feel like i would end up saying something that i shouldn't that i feel like Steve <laughs> Harvey would be like <laughs> right right yeah but that's the best that's the best <laughs> that's um, why i want you on family feud and i'll, yeah. I'll be right there <laughs> with you <laughs> Oh or, my God, LP and Family Feud, Silent Squee. We would- We should do our own. Murder. Yes. 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 Oh God, yes. Oh, we'll we totally should do, do a gloss Family Feud night and it should be like the ladies of LPN and maybe the guys of LPN, I don't know. No, we, yeah, we should start training. Like yes, we should, yeah. do, we should do this. Oh my god! Yeah, so basically, okay. Good. Like things you would do in a cab. We got that down. You know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know. Oh my god, Hulk girl, it's a great idea. We'll do stream v stream. We'll do the the Tuesday night like uh, not Adult Swim anymore, but the the last podcast, uh, the them versus us. No, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one because I I guess I'm kind of because they've got the their handicap, which is Kissel, and then you guys have my our handicap, which is <laughs> me. No, and then together we could. <laughs> You're really not a handicap. Come I on, think Jack. this will be really fun, especially I think, since yeah. I will be on this end in my office and Marcus will be on the other end of the apartment. And um, it's odd. It's so odd. Feud. Oh, oh, my God. OK, so speaking of things we look forward to in 2021, I just added this to my list. I'm so excited. I, uh, let's I'm going to make it happen. It. I'm gonna, yeah. I think we can convince them. I th yeah, oh, I yeah, so. yeah. Oh, yeah. They're down. Um, yes. Uh, last podcast on the last or last stream on the left. They're doing their stream uh, this Tuesday. I believe it's going to be on. I'm, blo I'm yes, blogging their on show. the 22nd. Yes. So it's, yeah, it's this Tuesday. So it's it's like the day after tomorrow uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, go say hi to the boys and tell them we're going to freak. We're going to take you down. Oh, yeah. They, yeah, they have no idea what we're talking we're about. Coming for them. I love that. <laughs> They'll be so scared all of a sudden. Everyone's like, Gloss is going to fucking take you guys down. And I just matter. And we're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. I won't tell Marcus anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So last stream is going to be back on Tuesday on the last podcast network Twitch stream. Yay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's the beginning of a new era. It's going to be a lot of fun. That's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. That's what I'm looking forward to. There's going to be a lot of really fun. I have some fun ideas. Uh, but honestly, we do have a lot of fun <laughs> ideas, I feel like, coming out of this network. And I think yeah. that like it is like this next year is going to be an interesting growth for just stuff we're working on and new projects and, and trying to uh, expand our little network into absorbing more content of us. Yeah, exactly. Yes. 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 <laughs> Doing more, socializing more, connecting, talking to people, just hanging out, you know, anything to keep me from, I mean, like, there's nothing wrong with me watching another uh, season of The Crown. But every so often, I need the best. This is the best thing I can get to human contact. That's not Marcus, and this is, this yes. is necessary. And I think it's I necessary for all of us. I just love you guys, too. you all got to meet together in some way or another. If it's on chat, if it's us, doesn't matter. Yeah. I do also love the life better. Which said, I feel like Kissel doesn't know what gloss is, and then Silence said, Kissel doesn't know what a lot of things. Are. <laughs> I know that's I... what I laughed at. <laughs> <laughs> I was like. <laughs> Oh, I'm not going to say that out loud. But Jackie 
can because she's Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. That's you know I thing. love him to death. I just also want to shake him to death if I could. If I could <laughs> get on the ladder and get up there, um, I would. No, something about Ben, I mean, like, yes, you can't help but love him, but there's always something that's always, like, a problem. Like, okay? I, I, you know what I mean? Like, it will be like, I, I remember one time we were all at the airport, all of us, and it was just me yeah. and Ben for, like, Thanks a few minutes. Thanks for the minutes. raid, Taquito. Welcome and to Keto Stream. Sorry. And then Ben's like, okay, why don't we go through like the cool, like, you know, the, the pre-check thing. And I'm like, oh, whatever the thing for VIP people. I'm like, oh, we're not, we're just normal people on, you know, he's like, no, I don't think so. Let's go. And I had to like follow him and I hate breaking rules and, you know, and, you know, like it's always a thing, you know, and you're just like sweating and they're like, you're not supposed to be here. And Ben's like, oh, okay. And then we leave. And I'm just like, why did you? Put me through this. Why, would you why did you get it? me in trouble? Yes, yeah. that's classic Kissel. Why <laughs> would you time. do it? <laughs> but I love him. I love him. Living the lifestyle of don't ask permission, you know, like ask for, you know, ask for forgiveness. Like it's better to ask <laughs> forgiveness than to ask permission. I enjoy that lifestyle, but I myself can't do it. Like I immediately just no. like, Mm -mm. I can't do it. Mm -mm. Next I time I'm just going to let, I'm just going to let him go. I can't even uh, ask permission. I just, I get yeah. too intimidated, period. <laughs> I, I, I yeah. do also love that we're talking about Joe Para. The, someone recommended Joe Para being the host and Joe Para, who is, I think one of my favorite people of all time. I would love mild mannered, beautiful little Joe Para who also throwing this out there. Spoiler alert. He's fucking ripped and you would never fucking know it. Wow. And that is a little insider information. Wow, wow. I, will, I'll I didn't have sex with him. I just I just oh. know this. I knew someone that, that like, I... <laughs> that's good, that's good I love it when you stop yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all, it's all like... <laughs> it's not <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do that for now. I gotta do There's that. just something <laughs> about someone that is like like when you don't like Walton Go uh Walter Goggins is like also like like daddy ripped and it's one of those things where people that don't look like that they would and I don't I'm not into like ultimate riff by any means, but there's something about secret ripped that yeah. I love where you're like you don't even show it. You don't even, you're not even like, oh, I'm busting out of this t-shirt. It's like, no, everything's just always covered. And then you see them take off your shirt and you're like, oh, <laughs> you know? Daddy. Yeah. 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 There, there, I remember seeing a couple of those back in the day, you know, where they, they, it was always, I guess, when you're younger, when you're like 21, I, like dudes back then would just have to like, just do like three sit-ups and then they have a six pack. Yeah. This right. Like, how do you do that? That's crazy i don't know how you do that mild mannered in the streets mild mannered in the sheets <laughs> <laughs> professor ripped that's correct matt 2d yes professor it's like ripped. a muscle dude with a sweater vest on Ooh, like ned flanders ripped. yeah or like surprise tattoos it's like oh tattoos Ooh, and love, glasses yeah. it's like what yeah yeah <laughs> that's they're always the most interesting ones <laughs> fine um, <laughs> that's what's under here that's what you, that's what you don't see under the yeah it's it's secret muscles <laughs> yeah here. when a chick though is ripped it's just like look and and if she's a mom i just want to like bow down because you know that that was hard to come by dudes it's a little bit easier but that man, are when you see nice arms on a woman and i'm just like <sighs> Right? How did you do that? I was talking about this with Jeff. He's like, I've never, I'm just like, I don't think I've ever looked at a woman's arms before because I comment on women's arms a lot where I'm just like, damn, bitch. Fucking look <laughs> at those arms. We were watching some Dateline Princess Die thing at Henry's house yesterday. <laughs> I don't know. Something about Princess Die. And I looked at her arms. I was like, those fucking arms, though. And I forget that most people don't really care about arms. I love arms. I do too. Absolutely. Michelle, Michelle Obama, Obama did that to us, transient witch, 100%. <laughs> yeah. And I look, and yeah. I'm just like. She made us care about arms, and I am yeah. here for it. I'm staying for Fuck. it. <laughs> yeah, Jennifer Jennifer Aniston's arms, April 5,000. Yeah, you're right. They're just so, just. Uh, uh. 
it's like I don't know what you do if you touch them like how how is it like you know like how does it work I I don't know I I don't know how to ask uh, <laughs> in a very respectful manner I the only way I'll f- ever find out is if I do it myself I guess I don't know how curious I am but I if anyone has uh, just 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 describe them to me I would like to know is there any so- sort of weird like uh total you know harmless not sexual kink that someone could just tell me what their arms feel like i will pay <laughs> interesting right, i well, like this i'm getting i i'm, I'm very gonna... interested on this and on that Woo! note <laughs> i'm waiting for you guys to talk over me any second right? oh i can no, no I'm, just I'm just sitting here sitting and stewing in my own tequila drink just like yeah i'm just enjoying everything that you're saying carolina <laughs> That's amazing. You guys. Uh, oh, wait, oh are we, we're done. Oh, my God. Okay. I don't even know how. No. I don't know how it would happen. I, I, I feel like I've just been like. I have like 10 things to Google anyways. So I got to go do that anyways. Uh, about, about what we just but, talked about. Before we go, favorite body part on a person that's like built. Like what's your favorite? Is it abs? Is it arms? Is it thighs? Is it booty? Like what is it? Mm. I'm a forearm girl. Four on- Ooh, oh, that's good. Yeah, this, that's this good. not too many veins, but the amount of veins, which I now have realized of an artist. It is an artist's forearms that I'm specifically into that it's just like the right amount of like flex where like they they, they move their arm and you're just like, oh, oh. Ooh. Like that's Jeff's true. got these tattoos on his forearms that like they just like really complement the shape, you know? I like it too. I, I like it on Marcus's arms too. Uh, I do look at them some because they are pretty veiny because you know he played drums for so many years. Right. Now he now he plays bass, but like he just yes he he is veiny and I never thought I would be into that, but I I love it on him. I love every vein. I love every little just curve. So I would say yeah forearms, but mostly mostly I like back, shoulders more more shoulders back. You know what I mean? Like if they look cool, like like they don't have to be ripped or anything, but as long as from behind, they're just at least they there's some sort of like, you know, like pretty, I don't know, just shape that doesn't feel like weird, then I'm totally down for that. I I, I can't explain it. You, you should have sent a poet, but. I know, I, I know we get, oh, I get it. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Shoulders. <laughs> Like what about shoulders. you, Lexi? Shoulders, shoulders on men and women. Yeah, shoulder, shoulders, deltoids like this. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and and just like a nice booty. I like. Yay. I like butts. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> All right, so I like butts. That's the last thing Gloss says on twenty twenty. <laughs> That's how we sign off from now on. Like That's butts. how we do it. <laughs> That's great. We've been waiting all year for a sign off. So thank you, Lexi. <laughs> I like butts. Good night. Good night. I did that. <laughs> That's it. All right, you guys, this has been so amazing. Thank you so much, everybody who. Um, oh, no, April 5,000, I guess. Yes. Oh, no. I've happy definitely been holiday. with many a person with no butt, and you're just and I like to grab on how little butt they have. It doesn't matter if it's a big butt or a little butt. I just like your butt. I just like yeah. a butt. Yeah, but I get are- it. Yeah. Um, but uh, thank you so much, guys. Uh, Cal Dame, thank you so much for the hundred dollar donation. Oh my God, Harley thank Quinn, you thank so, you so, thank you so generous. Uncanny Rachel, thank you so much for the hundred dollar donation. Like, bless you, people. Oh my gosh. Thank um, you so fucking much <laughs> to fidget, to fidget, and, and so, and Hawk Girl, and Patricia Bateman, and Allison Bamgat, and April Five Thousand, and everybody. And Carla, I don't really did, play video. Carla games. the Goblin. Oh. Thank Guys, you I don't so really much. play video games. Don't even get me fucking started. Oh thank my you, gosh, we could so not do much. it without her. And um, to fidget, thank you so much. And that's my name, Lisa B. And Rose we love and all of you. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you. We are going to hear a, a song from Reformed Tours. Won't be ho ho home for Christmas. It's that wonderful so time. We'll be, I'll see you guys on Tuesday. <laughs> I'll be here on Tuesday. Have a fun festivus. Uh, your own Christmas yes. or your own whatever you you're gonna celebrate. Whatever you're gonna do. Be and have fun have a great time enjoy your holidays my love buy just one candle just one candle <laughs> you're a candle peddler 
Yes. <laughs> cool. I got inside, Carolina Candle Peddler. Yeah. I mean, like, I'm I'm starting very tame though. I'm starting very tame because they're not scented and they don't have any. No, they're tea lights. I love it. I, I, yeah, exactly. They're kind of like tea lights, uh, and I just, I just want something very simple, very classy to start with. Don't you don't want to get all crazy, you know, with candles. I have so stepping men. I know you guys do. I know that's really. Oh yeah, serpent and flame is sick. You really? love it. Oh, cool. right. I love you guys. Love you guys. Oh, good. I'm excited because we got tacos. Every time we do the stream, uh, Marcus always gets tacos. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so cute. Always need to have a reward system in your life. I think that's, that makes life better. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs>